underutilizing the fact that I have a, a lake like right 50 yards from my house. <laughs> yeah. So like, I've been, I've been going swimming every day and it's been like therapeutic. Nice. It's been feeling pretty good because I, I, I'm usually terrified of like open water. Mm. So when it comes to like my actually, wife. what? So is my wife. I mean, it's, I mean, it's an understandable thing of like not being able it's to see fear, what's yeah. under. It's a, it's a justifiable fear. I mean, I've, I'm, as, as I've gotten older, I've actually gotten less comfortable being in open water. Is it because you understand more about it? Well, it's just the fact that I can't see. Like, if I can't yeah. see my feet, then I'm a little uncomfortable. But mm. You can't see your feet, and your sense. feet aren't but touching only, anything. But, but really, it's only if I'm, like, swimming at the shore. And I'm, like, out there, like, you know, out past waist. Yeah. Deep, but, or, you know, where I'm, like, and I'll accidentally kick something every now and then. Mm. That yeah. fucks with me. But if I'm, like, out in the middle of the lake, yeah. just, like, off of a boat or something like that, I'm like, eh, I've got a life jacket, like, yeah. around you- me. Do you feel the same way if it was like the ocean though? I've never been out, you know, in ocean oh, over really? my head. Like, I mean, I, I've been way out, but it's always been, you know, neck deep. Yeah. Like I've never gone, I've never been in the open ocean. I, have you been like around it by yourself though? Yeah. Or has it always been, okay. Yeah, that, that doesn't bother me. Because like I said, that like usually in the ocean, because also like it's a pretty, every ocean experience I've had has been like a pretty standard, you know, sand all the way out until you're. 400 feet out yeah, from where, shore and you don't where feel, I live so it's not ever really Jacob. a thing it's like oh I don't gotta worry about like giant trees or fucking uh, giant rocks that are gonna cut me but Jake can you uh, oh. not notice <laughs> what's right in front of your camera <laughs> yeah I mean that'd probably be helpful I can literally see your face through like the little loop <laughs> sure uh, zoom <laughs> So, I was like, oh yeah, that's not gonna work. But it's really, but like, it's really only water that I can't. That's not clear. Like, right. If, if it's like, like like lake water. Yeah. If yeah. I go to like Table Rock Lake or like Ken, Ten Killer, where you can actually see your mm-hmm. feet and stuff like that, and I'm like, oh, that's fine. That's cool. Well, well, I live like in, rivers are mm-hmm. fine because they're usually pretty clear. Mm-hmm. Well, and also like when you think of a river, you don't like. When I think of an ocean, I immediately think of like, like sharks and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't. But when I think of lakes, I'm just like up that close is rare. I mean, you'd have to be like way out there. You have to be but like near the drop off lakes. I'd be, I'm actually more worried about the giant catfish that are in lakes yeah, than I am of sharks. Yeah, like, that I'm because like those cat like those guys who go noodling for those catfish. They pull up like eighty pound catfish. Yeah. If that guy wants, it goes wherever it wants underwater. Yeah, if, it doesn't matter if you're there. If you did that, you're not made for doing it. You did that same okay, thing, yeah, but you're, but you're treading under, water like underwater. All muscle. All muscle. All muscle. He, you built can't, for and swimming. you're not built for swimming. No. You're not built for swimming. That fish can take you wherever yeah, he wants. Yeah. You're, you're down there, man. Like, yeah. like when we when we go and catch like spoonbill, uh-huh. dude. Yeah. Forty pound yeah. ones feel like I'm dragging in something two hundred pounds. Yeah, dude. They they go wherever they want. <laughs> yeah, it's they're like, built for that. We're not. We're just we're built for this. We're the land. But yeah. you know what's weird? We came from fish. We came from fish. <laughs> I mean, but they, I mean, but I mean, they just came from bacteria. Exactly. It's crazy! You're gonna die. <laughs> Give me one second, because I still have tears in my eyes. He's dying inside. You have, you have a grumpy face, my default. Man, I don't even live here. Do I remember my keys, or am I just stupid? No, oh, I don't like how this is going. I think these are for dummies. <laughs> You guys are silly. But no, the the reason why, like, because where I live on on Ulaga Lake, uh-huh. it's it's rocky shore. Oh yeah, at least so, you pronounce so, Ulaga correctly. Yeah, at least like, you're right. Our dad does not. Doesn't he live there? Yeah, he calls it Ulaga. <laughs> dad, drop the ball. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm trying I mean, to sip on water here. You know, <laughs> when, when you're come, choking on it. <laughs> <laughs> when it. When it comes to Oklahoma names, though, I. I mean, there's a prejudice against Oklahoma names because some of them are you're just like, why? It's because they're native. They're native I mean, names. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> yeah, but when, when you like my, my, Miami <laughs> and Miami still annoy me. Well, it's it's Miami. It's not Miami. That's a white thing. But that's it's also o- it's Oklahoma, that's an Oklahoma thing. thing. That's well, what I'm saying. That's the prejudice I'm talking about. Yeah. I was like, it's well, Miami. And people are like, it's Miami. It's no, like, it's, it's not. not. <laughs> it's, it's actually not. It's funny. the Miami tribe. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's all tribal. Yeah, I, like I like 90% of this, the town names in Oklahoma are tribal. Yeah. And that's the other thing is people are like, people, the, the whole, the whole, uh, the whole uh, go back to where you came from, people in Oklahoma. Ninety percent of the time, <laughs> live in a town that they stole the name from a Native American tribe. So that's that's my spiel right there. Or the people that live there actually came from that area, so they actually are where they came from. Exactly. <laughs> like, look at me. I don't like, it, but I'm tribe. If, if you're yelling at a Native person to go back to where they came uh, from, they already are. This is the land I got moved to. 
<laughs> you want to move me back to Florida? I'd be happy to go back to Florida. Dude, you know what? Florida felt better uh-huh. than here. Humidity-wise? Yeah. This time of year? Yeah. Localized in that one state? Wait, wait. But he's on the coast. Yeah, you were on the coast. Yeah, it felt that's wonderful. Different. That's wonderful. Like, it was hot, different. but it wasn't yeah. this. Like, if the, you, you, you take away the humidity outside, mm-hmm. you feel wonderful outside. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, perfect. That's but, why it feels amazing, like, in the morning, like, right as the sun's about to come up. Mm-hmm. But then the second you can see the sun, mm-hmm. it's just like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. it's been making so the, bad. the old morning gardening before work. I'm just like, oh. I, I reached a new level forward. of bougie, by the way. Oh, how so? You got a cup with your name embroidered on it? Mm-hmm. Well, it also has our that was, okay, true. That's a thing, though. That's that, <laughs> someone made this for me. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, I, I hired someone to mow my yard. <laughs> nice. I mean, no, I mean, time. I get it. Like when I lived in Katusa, we paid a kid. We paid one of the kids yeah, on the street. Well, like, hey, like this kid. Okay, he, he was he's he was friends. With, he was friends with a girl that my wife works with, and he, he was like by, saying, "You short shorts." He, he was saying that like he needed one or two more jobs so he wouldn't actually have to get a a part time job during yeah. the summer. So we're like. It's forty bucks. How often does it come out? Every ten days. Every, t- every t- it's, it's forty bucks a time, or is it like forty bucks for that ten days? 40, like, 40, forty bucks a time he comes out. Okay, so every okay. time he comes out. So we're we're looking at you know what one hundred twenty bucks a week. One hundred twenty bucks a month. But that's that's or yeah a month, and that's you know how how much time does it take to you uh, to mow your lawn? Uh, roughly about an hour and a half. So so four and a half hours a month. Yeah, saving me. Yeah, I'll take the. Oh yeah, my time like, in my, this heat. It's actually pretty good for you to just be out, you know, sweat, sweat a little bit. And just once you're done, you're you do out. realize I work outside, right? <laughs> yeah. That's the thing is like working outside all day. I don't want to do yeah, anything. Like outside. I'm out in the heat all day. Yeah. So am I. So it's the last thing I want to do on my first day off is to mow my yard. <laughs> I mean, it does, but it's not, <laughs> like, that's not music. my, that's not my first choice of things. Like, like, right. like, it's, it, cause I can spend that four and a half hours of time that I'm not out in the middle of the heat going and doing like that's my thing like that's was what like that frees up four hours a month of yeah. any type of other activity be it chores be it for me gardening or rock climbing like i'm t- cool totally cool it's usually that. like dishes and or laundry there you go yeah but how much is four hours with five people a month it's- of rock climbing that's not that much a i'm month. justifying i'm justifying my hours my time i'm saying like four hours a month <laughs> isn't that much though <laughs> Four hours a month is more than that's four four and a half hours more a month than yeah. I was getting before. Yeah, but then what are you really losing if it's just four hours a month? Exactly. Time. What am I really just losing besides that time yeah, that I got? Was, yeah, so you're losing more money than you are. Uh, for someone who advocated for time so much before, like I don't know why you're not on board. <laughs> you're losing more money than you are time. You know, no. you know how I value my time? My hours outside of work, my hours start at seventy five dollars an hour. If I get a seventy like that's my enjoyment. Like my free time enjoyment, like how I justify anything, like if it's a video game or anything like that, one hour of my enjoyment time, 75 bucks. So I spend less than two hours of my enjoyment time to double that plus some. That's winning in my book, brother. Mm, fair. And I hate mowing the lawn, so like. No, that's another win, yeah. too. <laughs> like, well, yeah, while we're on enjoy- vacation, he texts me and be like, I'm pretty sure you wanted me to mow your lawn for you. No, no, like, no, no. Because he didn't. asked me in the middle of the week, he was like, does the mom lawn No, I was just like, mowed? that's the last thing I want to do when I get back from vacation mm-hmm. is mow the, mow the yard. I, I mean, you it knew it was needed to be mowed anyways. Like, I know. <laughs> and that's it why. It needs to be mowed every like three days. Do you, since you live in this like neighborhood situation, do you guys have like an HOA? No. Like you have no rules? No, you have thank to, God. Okay. God, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, does the city oh. does the city enforce like any type of lawn if it gets rule? like insane? Yeah. yeah, but like if it, I mean, if it looks like no, it has to be like knee high for yeah, them. To, them like, to I mean, and that's not like the stragglers that like the weeds that like, get crazy, mm-hmm. like the one that just sprouts up. Yeah, that's just like a completely abandoned yard yeah, for like two yeah, months. Yeah, okay. exactly. But Jeffield. other than that, no, because there was a point where our lawnmower had no, we didn't have a lawnmower yet, and we were like, we need to get one. And it was just a matter of like getting the money to spend on it. Mm-hmm. And our yard was getting pretty bad. Yeah. And I was like, I was expecting someone to say something, but no one ever did. Mm-hmm. So we got lucky. And then, but like, look at it this way too. You spend roughly three months of the year, three to four months of the year mowing the lawn. Right. And then that saves you on having someone else does it, saves you on buying the lawnmower, the maintenance of the lawnmower, everything like that. And I, I get it. Like I said, in the, in the I end, mean, it might I cost have a money, lawnmower and, and I do easy. have a weed eater, which I just bought. Yeah. But, <laughs> but you still have somebody come over that has their own. But yeah. like I said, you can, if you don't, if you're going to continue going that route, sell those. Yeah. Like, I mean, I just, it just, 
it's really Plus you're helping the, out small business. You're yeah. helping a kid out. You're yeah. helping a local kid out. Well, and that was that like the, I think that was the main reason why my wife decided to do it. Yeah. Was like he said he needed one or two. She was like, fine, go, yeah, yeah, why not? If I can keep this kid out of working a shitty corporate job, right? I'm I mean, if he's it. enjoying mowing lawns, yeah. Why not help with that? Exactly. I mean, he might start his own lawn mowing business. There you one go. Day. Like I said, that's... what if he becomes super successful? And <laughs> I helped out with that. that You're reminds welcome. Me of, uh, of our cousin's husband who started his own lawn mower job. Oh, you mean the d bag? Oh, the one that still has me. The one that still has me. That's blocked? right. That did. That was a situation. That he still happened. has me blocked, by the way. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> he was so in, he was so ambitious about doing that because they're such polar opposites. Because she's super intelligent, mm -hmm. really well spoken, but also like quiet. Like you look at her and you think like she's like just a quiet, like introverted person, and yet she works for like the public, like the local government, right, and she's yeah. well spoken. And she's been on news. Highly intelligent, and then this dude who dips and drinks alcohol, like drinks beer all the time, and curses and and like yeah. his words like just slur together, and then he starts his own lawn mowing job. I was like, how do you guys? And, and he, then and then he, he can't he can't he can try to start an argument on Facebook <laughs> and then blocks me because I won. <laughs> Play plays Fortnite all the time. Yeah. So that was a thing he was super into. Fortnite. If that's what you like to play. That's yeah, but you, you guys like you have kids, so it's okay. No, I, I mean, I don't. I think it's a dog shit game, but if that's what you like to play, yeah, I'm, not, like I'm to play. not a fan of Fortnite. Yeah. I have been playing a lot of Warzone lately, though. Warzone's a little bit more fun because it was. <sighs> I've gotten real obsessed. <laughs> so uh, while you were gone, got on your Xbox and played some Apex because it was on oh, there. Yeah. Played three games. First oh, he, two, first two were just bad. <laughs> first game, connection though. You know, I connection. didn't have connection issues. No. Um, the he was controller keep dying. Third game. Oh, is literally, I was wondering why my controller died so quick when I got home. I was like, I could have sworn I just no, no, the, the, no. The, the batteries that were in it died immediately. Oh, really? Okay. I stole the batteries out of your daughter's remote control. <laughs> you know what's crazy? <laughs> I did too. <laughs> <laughs> the batteries that were in there were from that yeah, remote. No, were from it originally. So the batteries, the batteries that I put in there were from the remote. So if you swapped them out again, the ones that they were so dead. <laughs> they were so dead. The funniest thing is the entire awesome. time we were looking for the extra controller. You know where it was? Where? Behind the flat screen TV. Like literally. Right around yeah, the corner of the hallway. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, anyways, I saw it as you left. I was like, "Oh, come yeah." On. So, I have a rechargeable pack on yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> so hopped on Apex. Third game. First time I've played it in about a year. Honestly, <sighs> got like six kills nice. and won the game. Nice. It was it was beautiful. I was, I was, like, I was watching. I was like, "Oh my!" Well, I was waiting for the the, the new season update mm -hmm. to go. I was playing. I played. I played one round of Apex. Mm -hmm. I got four kills. Hell yeah. But it was like right at the beginning, and mm -hmm. then I, I died. But the hits, <laughs> my whole team, hits like, so my, whole my whole team died like well, immediately well, when we landed. That's the thing I noticed because uh, Apex is very, very like skill based matchmaking. Mm -hmm. um, so that definitely made me poning on the pub <laughs> map a lot easier. Yeah. Uh, I, I also noticed I was the only one in the chat like talking and like telling right. people what to do. And so you're also playing with people who are lower level in yeah. your squad. Uh, but man, I just love Apex. It's it's like it's just I play it for kills. Like I don't yeah. I don't play for wins. I right, got, that's yeah. my th and Apex is just so satisfying to get those kills. It is the the like just watching it. I was like oh, every impact you made. I'm just like God. If it, it like I feel good watching it happen. No, that's it how just I feel satisfying. when I play Warzone too. Is like when it I hits, oh. when I see that shield break and mm -hmm. I see him go. I'm like oh, I yeah. will say the only thing I'll say that black that Black Ops has over Modern Warfare is the hits of Black Ops. Like, you hit somebody, you're just like, oh, it's so good. Well, you just hear the hear the impact. I'm like, yes. You can't, I, I'm pretty sure on Modern Warfare, you can, you can go, you can you change can it so it is the you Black Ops. You just can't do it on Modern Warfare. Or Advanced Warfare. Whichever one, whichever the one, Advanced Warfare, because, yeah, Black Ops is the new cube, whatever one, the newest Cold War. Cold War is the yeah. new, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then Advanced Mod Warfare was that, or was that Modern Warfare? Modern Warfare. Modern yeah, Warfare. that one I know you could swap, you could swap the sounds to yeah. have all, you could do Black Ops sounds, you could do like from every I think you era. have to have Black Ops though, there, there, for, for no, Black Ops. Yeah, yeah. There, there's no, because there's I think mine's just classic and Modern Warfare. Oh. No, the, I have three settings. Yeah, there's three settings. Yeah, there's Modern Warfare, Classic, and there's another one, but I, it's not Black Ops. It's I don't not know the Black Ops No. I thought there was a, no, there's I'll, I'll look into my hardest thing is just like is. the time to kill difference from Apex to Call of Duty like I'm so used to Apex time to kills and my gun. Yeah. That was, I just I never put the, the hours that I put into Apex into Call right. of Duty so there's no slow so the, mm -hmm. the, the whole like game smarts that comes with like playing a lot I don't have about wars like I can hit my shots and I can yeah. know the basic like movements and everything but like when it comes to Apex like my fluidity through movement, through just everything, is just so much more dialed because so that's what I like. I, I got the maps. Yeah, I got a kill on Mono or on Warzone that 
I actually undersold myself that my teammates were like, holy shit. Mm-hmm. And I was sitting on a hill and there was a guy on a building and I sniped him and I it, I was like, oh, I downed him. I was like, that's the first long distance kill. And he goes, that's not long distance. That's freakishly long. It was a 650 meter shot. Holy <laughs> cow. That's like, yeah, that's something that I would be like, oh, because like if I hit like 200, I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah that's what they, they're like, that's a freakishly yeah, that's long like, shot. That's like, good. That's like, that's like <laughs> Yeah, that's and like all I can see was his head above the, the, the ledge. ledge. So yeah, just like, that little, I just said that, that little arch. Oh, yeah. I was nice. like, yes. I was like, that's the long, first long distance shot I've ever done. Did you done. play the Modern Warfare campaign? Yeah. So, so you know, like when you get Hadir's rifle the first time and you get a watchable go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, when you're doing that. that yeah, that really. Oh, my like, God. Yeah. That, that's like that's like almost like orgasmic. You're just like. Yeah, and then you, and then you have to like <laughs> account for the wind. So you like see it curve uh, and like. I'm it's like, it's wanted. I'm part of wanted. Have yeah. you guys watched we the trailer? The <laughs> for... We started though, right? That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Thank, we thank God. I, I was gonna be lot, that would be a lot to lose. No, wait, it's fifteen minutes in. Have you guys watched the new uh, trailer for the new Battlefield game? I haven't watched uh, the someone, trailer, but I was so me. when I heard about yeah. it, I was so pumped. My guys I saw thought. images. It's like a uh, twenty forty five or uh, twenty forty two. Yeah, twenty forty two. Twenty forty two. So I watched, so I watched the release at E3. I was watching yeah. uh, Stone Mountain do a live stream of it. Oh, I love Stone Mountain. So they've got a callback to like a Stone Mountain play pretty much. Like, cause it, he was the one who did pretty much the first viral version yeah. of jumping out of an airplane with a rocket launcher <laughs> and then coming back into your airplane. <laughs> watch your jet, you watch your jet. <laughs> I love Stone Mountain, like, dude. He's so dude, funny. Dude, they He's do, so funny. They do the video. They do, like, a scene. Like, it, dude, the, the... the Like, I like Battlefield. Don't get me wrong. Wait, it's a fun game. Yeah, I man. am, like, legitimately hyped about the new Battlefield because of this dude, trailer. I, you guys I, really need to I check it out. I just got chills. Like, so I, just, just, I love Battlefield like, dude, that much. there's so many, like, callback, like, like... You know, like those fucking big brain plays that happen, like that you see. Yeah. There's like, like so like, many little callbacks oh. in that trailer. The only you're one just I like, haven't liked so far was uh, five. I didn't like five, but it's because I didn't like I didn't like the BR in five. Like the story was cool, and it was I mean because it was still you know yeah. the old war style, and I mean World War One era was eh for me. Like, I still just like, like the modern time. Yeah. I, mean, I, mean, it's I like, like the weapons more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't I didn't like the the like the throwback to like World War One and World War Two. Like though that felt yeah. like. Well, like, I was just like, oh, I've had too many of those already. Well, that was the, that's I mean, that's what got me into Call of Duty. Like Call of Duty 2 on Xbox 360 was World War 2. That was my first, yeah. Like, yeah, but I had my fill of it. And no, I was like, no. I had a lot of these. Well, like, my first real introduction. I mean, I played Modern Warfare 2, but like my real first one was, was 3. Mm-hmm. Modern Warfare 3. We played hours of that at my house. Oh, my yeah. God. On and four when I split uh, screen, when I, oh, I did my TV days when I, I'm sorry. When I first got <laughs> Xbox Live mm-hmm. and I got on um, Modern Warfare 3, dude, I, I probably put in like 700, 800 oh. hours in that game. Oh, yeah, because it was just so fun to play. Like, like, and you made you talk shit, you made friends. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I remember playing games with like homies that across the country that you know, that one day was literally the like. Holy cow! Even this is not even that long ago. Uh, you remember when like Overwatch took like started and mm-hmm. took off? Like I was a religious Overwatch player. Like I never from, played it, but I've heard, I mean I have I know about it. My yeah, so. one of my biggest regrets in life is I have over a thousand hours logged on Mercy, which is like the most. Stay back support player <laughs> ever. But dude, I have like I have I made I was great at it. I was really good like at that character, but yeah. like. I spent over a thousand hours of my life playing Mercy on Overwatch, <laughs> and like there's uh, several, like I have Lucio who I have like eight hundred hours on. I have several characters who yeah. I have over four hundred hours on. I was gonna say like, yeah. What's your what's your hours for the game? <laughs> close to six thousand. Okay, I was gonna say because my my siege is uh-huh. about the same. But, it's uh, pretty bad. <laughs> but so can. so <laughs> I remember like it was like season season three of Overwatch, and was grinding ranked by myself solo yeah. grinding ranked. And I met this kid and we had a good match, you know, communicated well, like, and we were both drunk uh, and we both communicated really, really well. We were the only people on the team talking because it was like bronze. So no one's talking that low. <laughs> Anyways, like, we just like true. group up. He and I played Overwatch like three days a week for like two years. And then one day. That was it. Never heard from him. I mean, we're friends on Facebook. His name's Kyle Dingman. What up, Kyle Dingman? I don't think you. I don't expect you to listen to this, but how you're doing? I'm not, I'm not, ble- I'm not bleeping out that name. Yeah, don't don't bleep it out. <laughs> he's, bleep maybe out bleep name. out the last name. Nope. No, that's fine. He's a cool dude. Like he's a great dude. Uh, enjoy the publicity. But uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like 
It was I great. had the same uh, scenario uh, when Destiny 1 first came out. Mm-hmm. Oh, I played with two, du- two dudes, and I played with them. And when we did, like, strikes, we did nightfalls, we did raids. Mm-hmm. Like, we did all this stuff together. I haven't heard from them. Yeah. I, I have no idea. Where, I mean, I know they're... Um, they're not even friends with me on, on Xbox anymore. I yeah. didn't even know what happened. Because that was on my 360. Yeah. And when I got my Xbox One, like, I don't know. I guess the friends listed and transfer over, right, or something. But I've tried... look. I know their names. Mm-hmm. But I can't. I can't remember which letters were capitalized, <laughs> and like how if there was any numbers in them. Well, I mean, just because one was magical C, magical C, and I can't remember what letters were capitalized. I think it was the M, G, and L, and then the C were all capitalized. But I can't remember. Yeah, and it won't pull. I mean, I can't find them on there, so I'm assuming that's wrong. And then the other ones, uh, his dude, his name was Hawkeye. Mm-hmm. Just simple just Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Yeah. And Hawkeye. I can't find him. Well, anyway. it's also just a generic name where it's like, oh, yeah. Gonna Search be like, through the 56 other Hawkeyes. Yeah, right. like 100,000 yeah. pre-made Hawkeyes. Yeah, Hawkeye. Like, Hawkeye's your one. <laughs> Hawkeye's your two. See, that's what I love about my name is like, A, it's unforgettable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And B, there ain't any other ones like I it. I still love the fact that with no communication, I was named, um, I was named Mr. Cavity Search. Mm-hmm. And then yours is... No, mine's Mr. Cavity Search. Mine was also Mr. Cavity Search. I thought yours was something a little different. It was either that or it was just Cavity Search. I don't know. Like, uh, like, unironically, like, almost spitting him into the same name with no communication. Like, I wasn't even yeah. in... I was on this side of... I was in the Western Hemisphere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, yeah, like, we, we just had the same name. in Japan, name. we didn't talk at all. Yeah, but I came, how we managed to keep the same name. Yeah, I came home and I was... Just, and I asked him for his username. I was like... No way. <laughs> no. Do you remember? Like, mine was Noopy Zatsk was seven, and it was on the Xbox 360 yeah. when we lived together. But mine, I had had that gamer tag since the original Xbox. Like, uh, we went, we had a, a Halo party at a friend's house, and I hadn't, oh, the good like, old good old days on Xbox God, where Halo you link four Xboxes best. together yeah. and you're the all land eating. party. Yeah, I still have a 360 yeah. somewhere. But, uh, and but I didn't have like I didn't have an Xbox at that point in time, so I was like Bryce uh, was like, hey, just here, just put this in, and he just randomly put in, and it became Noopy Zatsqua Seven P N O O P Y Zatsqua Seven. That was my gamer tag up until I'd say about a year ago, two years ago. Uh, so that was like over twenty years of my life. I was known to people as Noopy Zatsqua Seven. When I first got Xbox Live, I was Blurry Milk. Mm-hmm. And in Halo, I put like I did a circle, and then I did like a little tail that like spun, so uh, it kind of looked like sperm. Uh-huh. And I got reported. Oh uh, yeah, I, I remember changed my name. You saying that. Uh, then then I changed it to Princess Tough Tits, mm-hmm. and I just mm-hmm. did the T one T S, and it was T U F. And then I got reported for that. Damn it! Uh, you were playing Destiny at that time, weren't you? No, it was still Halo. Oh, I, I remember still, saying Halo. Yeah, it was that. still Halo, and then I changed it to. Um, Senior Ploppins. <laughs> <laughs> These are all separate profiles on your Xbox, weren't I they? I love that name. Why is that one not still here? <laughs> because Mr. Cavity Search is so much better. I, don't know. I think it, Senior Ploppins. Well, I did. Okay, so I, I got I got reported for Mr. Cavity Search. Mm-hmm. So I had it because it was just, there was no numbers. Mm-hmm. I, it was, I got reported for that. So I switched back to Senior Ploppins. Mm-hmm. And my, the buddies I play with on on Destiny now, they're like, we can't call you anything but cavity like that's what we always call you <laughs> so i had to change my name to mr cavity search nine uh, and i had another one but i cannot remember what it was my current is I was- hot anime babe 420 nice dude i love the sweaty <laughs> fucking nerds who send I you bet. the hate dude i got that like, you i got the voice change when you have like sorry guys, i got that one first game. Tits, dude. <laughs> like like i either i either get like spam messages like are you a chick are you a chick are you a hot girl are you an e-girl I or i get oh get the fuck back in the kitchen blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> like just the most sexist and i'm just like Yo, I'm a, I'm a dude. Yeah, you guys are really no, making you, us look like <laughs> terrible no, you gotta, people. Got to download like voice mod or something, and then just mess with them. <laughs> yeah, um, it's it's funny. How does it feel to have a get have have a girl have a KD better than yours? <laughs> I, I've, I've had, actually, I actually know a lot of girls who have better KDs than I do. So. I, I get that lawn mowing warfare, like, but actual women, like, I'll just be playing the game, just chilling, mm-hmm. and they'll have like, they'll like kill me like twice and be like, yeah, how's it feel to have a woman be jumps like. Great, you, that's you, my fetish. Oh, okay. The same as when a man like, does it? I don't know. It's a game. <laughs> they, I, you can move your thumbs to, yeah. and fingers the same as me. Cool. Yeah. Congratulations. They're so, they're so used to being talked down to that like every yeah. every time they beat somebody, now they talk down to them. I'm just like, I'm just playing a game. Like, it's, it's like, just, I mean, it's just a 
person playing a game. Like, who cares what gender you are? Hey, man. <laughs> yeah. Gamers rise up. People. For dudes only. Yeah. D- dudes that can't get laid to play video games, they they get aggressive on video games. There's people who are up, who get like visibly upset that in the new uh, dude. Oh um, my god! Oh my gosh! What's the dinosaur robot game? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you? Doing? No, I know, I know what he's talking about. Uh, I can't think of it either. Oh, it was it's such a uh, Horizon Zero. Horizon Zero. Yeah. Oh, okay, like, that's, that's what you're talking about. about. I was like, in the new Horizon, about? like the main, like uh, I was picturing Tarot. She a little thick. She got a little chubby, <laughs> and dudes were like. Oh my God! You can't, you can't have someone who looks like that in a video game, especially if I didn't it's think a she girl. Bad. Like she does it. That's the no. thing. Like everyone, it's just, just guys being sexy. It's just guys being is. guys. They have to. It's have guys, guys that material. can't get laid no matter what. So they see Incels. a woman that, even though they're fat, they probably still won't sleep with them. Incels. So it's just like, well, if this fat woman's not going to sleep with me, then I'm just going to talk shit on them. <laughs> Incels. It, it really is, and then it makes all the rest of us look bad. Cause yeah. I'm just like I'm just a dude, but I love that like because I've had the name uh, Big Papa on Discord for so long that like people I talk to in real life now are just like, "Hey, Big Papa." I'm just like, "Don't say that." I feel weird when I when I tag you when I try to say something. It's like you're Big like, Papa. I'm like I don't want to call him. I don't that. want to call him. It's, it's funny because because <laughs> the, the the women I talk to that I play games with will call me Big Papa like in front of their boyfriends and the boyfriends will like <laughs> yeah the, the boyfriends will <laughs> what you start, start getting upset. Thing. How many girlfriends? Who like when they see like when I'm playing with my homies and they don't know that it's Cameron who is hot anime babe and they see like them in chat with hot anime babe they're like who are you talking to what girl is that and they're like it, it's that's Cameron. need the voice changer and they're like oh yeah that totally makes sense that, that would be Cameron's name on my <laughs> he's <laughs> mine now bitch <laughs> no that's the thing like I'll talk shit like I'll have him talk I'll have him pull the headphones <gasps> off or, and, I'll, and I'll talk but then but once they realize who it is yeah. like then they're like oh duh hi anime babe is totally Cameron's name I, I, I met this guy he was um he was a buddy of a About buddy time. of a buddy <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, hey, so hey, I met this hey, guy. It's Pride Month, and we're club coming to a close. Mm-hmm. He had to be comfortable with himself first. <laughs> oh, no, so um, that's why I said about time. So almost the end of the month, he was running out of time. <laughs> so my buddy, who had a buddy, who has another buddy, I we were uh, playing, and he was like, "Oh, well, here, I have, a, I have a guy that we can invite to the squad." Get real progressive. I'm like, "All right, cool." So me and me and him were talking, and I was like, I was doing the normal thing where I meet somebody, like I'm just insulting them, just trying to because like I I immediately just come off the bat, and it's just like anything they say, it's just like, all right, let's see, like how your ego fits and like how everything goes. So I'll just be like doing like playful insults and seeing if they laugh at it. If they don't, then I'll wind back a little bit. But then his mom came on and started talking shit to his mom. And she like, she was really cool. Like she was like spitting back at me. Like it was really fun. <laughs> yeah, we, we, and now he has a fetish I was, I was like, for other women talking shit to him. Uh, a buddy of mine, me and him so have been funny. playing Warzone like every day this week, except for, well, yeah, no, every day of the week. Yeah, I was really upset when you were just like, hey man, what happened to Rose? I'm like, my hair has been down for 16 <laughs> days. Yes, I want to. Dude, you did I, I, I try to do it off my phone's mobile hotspot, and it's like, it's not the worst, but it's, it always just seems to be in crucial moments. It's like 678p. I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> uh, oh, it's yeah, so Yeah, because now I have two buddies, so we can literally play quads. I, I want to. Because <laughs> I love Warzone. Like, Warzone's so fun. But, but the, th- the third one I got now, like, uh, I don't, he's, I don't, I, I don't know how well he'll do because like I had to walk him through how to download Warzone. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like, hey, man, do you he want to be there game sense? Like, so it, it just depends on the vibe. But I mean, it was, we're having fun. That's all, I don't care. I don't Wait, care about wins. Is, is I don't care less. I'm just is I'm he, literally just there to have fun. Is he PC or is he console? Uh, he's PlayStation. Okay. It just depends. Yeah, it just depends on his attitude. Like that's my thing. Is like I can no, play. Cool. I can play with you if you're complete dog shit. Because I'll. Yeah. Especially if we're playing like for playing Apex. And you're complete dog shit. It's fine. I, it'll I be fine. Be. I won't be dog shit. I will be. But uh, but if it's if it's like something that we're both like eh, at and or if we're both supposed to be good at and someone's not carrying their weight and you told me. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, that's a little frustrating. I will literally never tell anyone I'm awesome at this game. No, like I said, I, I, I said I don't say I'm awesome at Apex by no. any means. I say I, I have I have some big brain moments and a lot of failures. Yeah. Yeah. There's three games I'll say I'm I get awesome some, at. I get some pretty good clutch moments, but that is few mm-hmm. and far yeah. between. I'm good at I'm good at Black Ops, Modern Warfare, and Rainbow Six Siege. Now, if you if I can say the that only game I will say I'm one. really good at was Black Ops Two, mm-hmm. dude. I would I would murder yeah. on freaking multiplayer. I I will only say I'm good at games where like, I can. We're prove talking it on my game normal board. game was probably like thirty and five. Yeah, I'm I'm still ranked in the world on Modern Warfare for like 
like top like eight percent in the world. I'm not, not even and, close and, uh, to that. in black ops. I'm like I'll look seven it up, or eight. I know I'm not anywhere yeah. close. <laughs> the only thing that I've dropped off, and this is why I hate like um, like I'm averaging based. four kills per game on Warzone. I think it's the most I've, decent for Warzone. I yeah, mean, that's fine. That's actually that's pretty good for Warzone because a lot of people play really quiet, just like sneaking around. <laughs> so uh what up cam how was vacation my guy oh uh, yeah. actually it was just good i liked it i don't want to talk about it though you don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> wow i'm just kidding i haven't heard from you in three weeks really <laughs> and you don't want to talk about the trip that you were on away from us kidding. away from your fans away uh, from no, actually, your no, friends I, I literally had the fear of masturbating outside the whole time <laughs> <laughs> i don't like it i mean it was it's a fear yeah no uh literally um, we got to uh, Alabama Friday uh-huh. um, at like three or four, and I was like, I literally, I, I turned to my wife, and I was like, they're, they're going to be recording soon, and I'm not there. And it really makes me sad. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, but we're on vacation. I'm like, I know, but it still makes me sad. That it was really nice to do it in AC. It was super nice to do it in AC. <laughs> I, I, yeah. did, I did really like the lighting. Like the, the living room gave yeah. very good lighting. I mean, I, you could have shut the doors to my bedroom. That would have been cool. It's <laughs> <laughs> just like wide open. Yeah, no. <laughs> like half an hour before he got there, I'm sitting there and I was I was planning everything. I'm like, all right, so make sure I close, make sure I close the <laughs> I closed the doggy gate initially and then closed the bedroom door. And I forgot something. I opened it up. I went out to the shed. I grabbed a couple of things and then I grabbed something else from the kitchen. I got distracted and then at the end of the episode, I look back. I'm like. Damn it. <laughs> Never closed it. I know. I, like right when it started, I was like, "Really? I my door's just wide open." That's cool. I had that door closed. For I mean, luckily so my room was pretty clean, but still, yeah. I was like, "Really? I left <laughs> I just leave my bedroom door wide open for so long in preparation." I'm just like, "Come on!" <laughs> I had it in the back of my mind for like, so okay. long, and then the second I knew, I mean, you can't it see it that yeah, well, but like, still, it's no, like, but it really? Annoyed, it annoyed me that I had it in the back of my mind for so long, and the second I actually needed to do it. My mind wipe just gone just magnet straight to the hard drive <laughs> such it goes so uh, yeah we went we got to alabama we um i can't remember what we did the first night i think we just swam and then went oh no no oh no we got there and the kids the kids wanted to swim and we're like no we are exhausted i'm we're good we just like we me and my wife both laid down and fell asleep mm-hmm. and i wake up to my wife coming back in the room and i was like where what what's going on what's going and she was like she was like, oh, my God, I thought it, like this whole time I thought it was Saturday. I was like, it is Saturday. And she was like, it's 830 on Friday night. So we fell asleep at like four and woke up at 830 and thought it was Saturday. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you feel good, though? Yeah, no, I felt great. So we, yeah, we let the kids go swim for a little while. Yeah. Um, and then Saturday, we just like hung out all day in, in Alabama. We uh, we went to the beach, which was disgusting because I guess the storm just rolled through. Yeah. So oh, that's a shame. All that like stuff from the bottom of the ocean was just washed up on. Like, it was like literally was like a barrier there. of like sea foam. And, no, like, not sea foam, like seaweed. Yeah, dried up seaweed was just, God, like, that was, like, just a so barrier. bad once it's there for a while, too. But the kids like playing in the sand. Mm-hmm. But I was like, this is our first introduction to the ocean. They don't know. It's their first introduction to the ocean. I uh, know. So, hey, hey, you can only go up from here. Then we went to a restaurant that overlooked the ocean, so that was kind of cool. Yeah, uh, we were watching people parasailing and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, How are and the then kids? We, they're great. Really, the whole way there, they felt they slept a good portion of the way there. I think oh, they woke up at like that's a blessing. I think they woke up at like <laughs> ten or eleven, uh, and we left at like midnight. So I mean, they slept for pretty, and then they just played on their tablets. So I mean, they were great. All and then in. In the hotel, they were great. We we swam in the pool. Um, there was this uh, the second night we were there. There's this uh, black family. Big, I mean, like a lot of them. There was like twenty <laughs> around the pool, right? There was a lot of them. It was a problem. No, it wasn't. No, no, it wasn't a problem. <laughs> but uh, my son, like, he just goes and like jumps in the pool right next to like seven of them. I'm mm-hmm. like. Dude, they're, they're and they're sitting on the edge of the pool. You don't know these people at all, man. You're splashing. It would them. be one thing if they were in the water, but yeah. they were like on the, on the edge, edge. Yeah, like not you. trying to get wet. Yeah. He's just like cannonballing in. I'm like, dude, you can't do that. Oh, yeah, I was just, and I the, he was just swimming up to him. This lady was Everybody like, does. let him do his thing. Let him do his thing. <laughs> That's lovely. And That's see nice. what the, this is the thing I love about black people is they say generalize. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know. No, they say <laughs> they say what white people won't say in public. 
<laughs> like their kids were acting up. There's a reason for that now. There was like there was there was no there was their kids were acting up, and the one lady was like, "Kid, if you don't get back here, I'm gonna beat your ass." Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm not gonna yell at my kid like that in public. <laughs> <laughs> there's more repercussions if you do because they'd be like oh my god he talks to him like that mm-hmm. but then but then if like like a, like a black parent does that it's like yeah put him in there but i love it Cause, cause it's, like it's i was because was, it's good discipline i was <laughs> laughing my ass off it's, it's not puppy dogging your children it's like no but sometimes the kid you'd be like hey sit down and shut the f up <laughs> Jesus Christ! It was they, sometimes you they were cool though. We we sat there and talked to them for a while. It was pretty cool. Mm. Um, and then Sunday we got up and left. The first day I was there, I got a sunburn. It wasn't bad. Just yeah. a little mild sunburn, a little pink. It happens. Too. And it was it was okay. Then the next day I decided I was like I'm gonna wear a tank top because my shoulders never see the light of day. Mm-hmm. I don't. <sighs> How bad? <laughs> blistered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only on did one. Did you not put sunscreen on? I did. No, I did. Did like, you not no, reapply? That's, that's I did. the Plus. danger of our skin. Especially our shoulders. But only this shoulder. You're also closer to the equator. Like I've got mm. the worst sunburn I've ever yeah. got. This down shoulder in South was Padre. fine. It was red, but it didn't hurt. This one like blistered up. It's probably the side you were looking towards. Toward. I think the I sun. was underneath an umbrella, and I think this one wasn't mm-hmm. in the sun, but this one mm-hmm. was. I got but, um, I, so, we were okay. We were probably about. A, I want to say it was Thursday, maybe, maybe, maybe Friday. We're swimming, and the wake's getting pretty good. Mm-hmm. Like. Because the storm was about to, uh, trop- the tropical storm that hit Saturday was mm-hmm. coming in. So, like, the waves were getting pretty big. Mm-hmm. Well, my youngest daughter, wanted, she just, little daredevil, wanted to just keep going deeper and deeper. And I'm like, no, you cannot yeah, go that deep. That. The undertow yeah, was like insane. Pounds, yeah. Take you. The undertow was taking yeah. me. Riptide crazy. Like, I had there. to basically <laughs> dig my toes into the sand when an undertow hit. Because yeah. if not, I was getting taken. Yeah. And so, I'm, like, trying to get her back. And then I see everyone, like, trying, like doing this. And I was like, yeah, I know. I'm trying to get the kids back in. Yeah. I get back up and they're like, there was an eight foot bull shark about 20 feet behind you. Oh, hell yeah. I almost got killed by a shark. You know what? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. You know what? Punch it in the oh, nose, man. Punch it in the they're nose. They're like, we saw it in a wave, that the wave that was right behind you. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wow. Um, you couldn't have yelled that? <laughs> No, like, I thought it was just panicked do, do and the situation got worse. Shark. But <laughs> if it's there, you have to. No, I mean, no. then I feel I feel like you would have panicked in that situation. Exactly. And then, I would have swam, not casually walked <laughs> back up to the shark. Well, I mean, maybe you're flailing around. <laughs> yeah, the shark's going to think you're hurt. Panic. I mean, you ha- you handled the situation. Yeah. You're out alive. I handled it because I didn't know about it. Exactly. <laughs> if you would have known about it, you probably would have freaked. You might have. You might have. I might have tried to ride it. You you try. You probably. If you were swimming, then. Then you wouldn't have had your toes yeah. in the sand. The riptide probably would have just pulled you right back. No, out. at that point I was like right here, so I mean I was able to walk fine. Yeah, like yeah, yeah the shark's not gonna. What's we gonna do? Stand up on his back flippers and bite you? <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's laying flat. He can still take my feet. No, nope. they would yell, shark. You would have peed a little bit. The shark would smell the pee and the fear, and then come hunt you down. No, he'd be like, "That's a superior fe- uh, male. I need to get out of here." <laughs> oh, that fear. Yeah, the- <laughs> I almost said female. <laughs> <laughs> the female shark gets horny. And she's like, oh, she's like, you know, oh that's a that's an alpha. <laughs> it, it like nibbles your leg, just like play with you a little bit, and then tug you and be like, come here. So the, oh. the rest of the week, I was like, anytime someone says someone, I was like, I survived a shark attack. That was my argument. <laughs> it was a cookie cutter shark. <laughs> no, it was a. They said like the, there was a guy boogie board, and he was like, oh yeah. I, no, he he was standing up there. He goes, that was like a big okay, shark. Well, would you see like it? They said eight foot bull shark. <laughs> God, like that's what that's my that's my phobia. That's my. I know. Phobia. I was like, I'm not going back out there. <laughs> it's weird. All my phobias. But then, are the like, I love. about 45 minutes to an hour later, I was back. Oh, out bad, there. I didn't forget about it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, everything ain't gonna come back. Yeah. If you didn't attack anybody around yeah. me, I, I think we're fine. Well, I mean, the, the whole thing is like, it's very often that you're actually like near sharks when you're just like waiting in water, and it's just like, yeah, I mean. So, I mean, sometimes they're just like, oh, I wonder. I mean, it was like the middle of the day. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's not like their prime feeding time anyway. So, like, it's not terrible. Now, if it was like evening time, I could have been, I probably would have been food. Uh, You're not So, no, because they don't even like the Uh, taste of people. They don't like to eat. No, but we don't taste good to them. No, that's that's true. That's true. But I could have been missing a calf or something. Yeah, because (laughs) some, because sometimes they're like, I wonder what that is up there. It's like, I'm thirsty dog. Can you imagine if humans were like that? Like, I wonder what that is. We were like thousands of years ago. (laughs) Yeah. Some people still are today, actually. (laughs) Sometimes. That was, that was my like over comically funny Scooby. (laughs) But, uh, no, we were, so I, I texted you and I was like, Hey, we're going to be back at like 3 a.m. Because we were like, we're just going to power through and just drive. Well, we stopped at Popeye's. Yeah. 
So oh, I was wait, like, I like 11 p.m. I was like, I want some chicken. So I was like, I'm going to order a spicy chicken sandwich. They're like, we cooked the order. So it's going to be about eight minutes. Fine. Okay. 45 minutes later, we Rip. get our food. Sounds about right. And we're like, okay, well, now we're tired. We've been sitting here forever. Yeah. And like, and that's, uh, but I was like, uh, it's no big deal. Like, he'll only be gone for a couple hours before we get home. I was gone for like 10 hours. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. I mean, it's all fine. Um, but we stopped at this hotel and when I got there, I was like, okay, it's not ideal, but whatever. Yeah, it's a, it's a um, hotel in the a, middle of nowhere. A cop drove by, and a, it was like right off the highway, so uh, I was like, okay. But I mean, I'm just saying realistically in the middle of Yeah, it was in uh, Little Rock. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not too bad. And yeah. uh, there are some sketchy Arkansas. ass hotels in Little Rock, Austin, Arkansas. Texas? Arkansas. 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 Little Rock, Little Austin, Texas. <laughs> Little Rock, Austin, Texas. No, there's a place called uh, Little Rock right outside. Why Austin. would I go down to Texas? I don't know. I heard, I heard Little Rock, and I remember that, like, I was You don't at, automatically assume Arkansas? Right, that's what I do. No, because I visited a place in Texas called Little Rock. And that's the first place I think, because I haven't been to the other place. I don't forget what it was. <laughs> Little Rock, Little Arkansas. Rock. Yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't been to that place, nor have I heard it very often, because I just don't care about Arkansas. But so okay, so we like, get there and I see a cop drive by. I'm like, hey, at least it's getting patrolled. That's fine. Then another one comes flying through. I'm like, never mind. Let's get inside. And we get inside. My wife's like, I forgot my person in the front seat of the car. I was like, okay, I'll go get it. I, I go out there. I grab it. I'm walking pretty quick back in. I turn to my right. I'm pretty sure I saw two prostitutes walking out to a car. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Like. And my, like, my wife is like, I don't want to stay here. I'm like, we already paid. Let's just keep the door locked yeah. and we should be fine. Just sleep. We'll get up and go in the morning. First Good thing. Six murders. <laughs> I slept like a baby. Okay. Okay. <laughs> because, okay, when I worked in pest control, I used to have to stay mm-hmm. uh, two nights every other month yeah. down in southern Oklahoma. We're talking like Ardmore where it's pretty much the same way yeah, as Little Rock. Yeah. I stayed in those janky hotels. Every time, yeah, you're just. It's, I was fine. Yeah, it's fine. I ordered Dominoes. I, you know, I, was I only got bed bugs three times. I worked in pest control. I, mean, I, didn't yeah, I, mean, I just had to spray myself down. Yeah, that's the best possibilities of yeah, those exactly. situations. No, but like, even to this day, my wife's like, "Check the bed." I'm like, "I don't even do this anymore." Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna work at a job that I don't even work at anymore. <laughs> there was one time, um, um, the motel next to the La Quinta Inn. La, Qu- La Quinta. La Quinta. I called it. I know it's a white people thing. It is a La white people thing. Like, La Quinta. The Quinta, man. Anyways, <laughs> listen. You don't call it Quesadilla. Quesadilla. <laughs> <laughs> don't test me. I'm not. But there was a motel right next to it, and uh, one of my old co- coworkers, uh, Tyler, he had gone the thing called a glass lung. You know what a glass lung is? Mm, a lung made of glass? I don't know. It's a bong, the size of a lung, made out of glass. Oh, so it's close. Okay. Um, and it's, I think it's when <sighs> Advanced Warfare came out. Dog shit game. I think it was, either, I no, it. it was the one right before that, which one was before that. Black Ops 4? Was it 4th? Yeah, 4. Um, that had just come out. So we go to this. Zombies one. was the only redeeming one about that. Was it, it Was it that or was it Ghosts? It was, I didn't play Ghosts. Yeah, this was long, way after Ghost. I Ghost was, was in Texas. Those were pretty Ghost close together. Out. Ghost was before 4 because it was Black Ops 3, Ghosts 4. Advanced yeah, warfare. I still, yeah. I still lived okay, in Henderson, so. Texas when Ghost came out. Okay, but well, you're acting like it came out like 10 years before that. <laughs> I mean, there was like, way after that. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. There was like, like two years. Six, there, was, there was like a six year. <laughs> no, they came up with a game every year. Call of Duty comes out with a new game every maybe single was, year. Maybe it was Advanced Warfare then. I don't know. But so. <laughs> anyway. So me and like. Move on. Or was it Infinity? Four, in, infinite Warfare. I infinite Warfare was before three. Was before Black Ops 3. What? Was it? I thought it was after. I thought Advanced. I, did, I, thought, I thought Advanced and then Infinite. I thought it was Vice Versa. Wait, you, you both of you guys have computers in front of you. I'm the only one with a lack of disability right now because my phone has a lack of disability. Time. Lack of ability. Yes, he lack. You of said lack of disability. <laughs> I have a lot of that, actually. I have a lot of disability. Eighty percent to be exercise. I mean, you have exercise. a phone, right? <laughs> you have a phone that also has the I internet. Just, well, I was just saying because I have bad service out here, so oh. it, it's really slow. But no, so me, Tyler, and like four of the people go to this motel to get really stoned and play this game and we were nervous the entire time because one like cops were coming down there all the time and like there's just sketchy people around so we kept on having like one person standing guard we were just nervous because there is a like a lot of at the time i think there was a lot of issues going on like a lot of drug deals going on in the yeah. area so we're just like oh this is a bad idea i mean like we were part of the problem too because we were doing drugs in the oh. area so. <laughs> yeah i was way wrong 
What was it? Uh, so it's... It would have been like 2014, Current 2020 is Cold War. 2020 is also Warzone, which, I mean, was free. But So Modern Warfare would, encompass, in, would yep. encompass Warzone. Uh, then Black Ops 4 and 18, World War 2 and 17, oh, Infinite Warfare. Yeah, I didn't play World War 2. I didn't either. Oh, uh, Infinite Warfare 16, no. Black Ops 3, 15, Advanced Warfare 14, Ghosts 13, uh, Black Ops 2, 12. So what it was... Wait, the, how come Black Ops 4 wasn't in there? Uh, Black Ops 4 is on 2018. Oh, okay. Between Modern Warfare and World War 2. Okay. So yeah, it probably was. It was probably 3 then, yeah. So I was saying it three was... Black Ops 3? I'm pretty sure it was three. Yeah, 2015 sounds about right. Oh, that whole time span, it was really weird of like the time of like- You were high all the time. No, it, <laughs> it would have been 2014 because I- You were I, smoking the gl- glass lung. Yeah, no one, you didn't know, you didn't know, what, you didn't know a, what year it was. Then I had a coworker <laughs> named Ben and we would go over to his house all the time because he lived next to Aaron. So we would like get stoned at, the, well, me and Ben would get stoned and I'd go back to Aaron when I used to live with Aaron. Then me and Aaron would get stoned and then we'd get drunk and stoned and then we'd party. And then he would have a fight with his girlfriend. I'm surprised, girlfriend. You, I'm surprised you even remembered you played Call of Duty. It's a lot of it's a lot of stuff going in your body. Well, there was a there was a there was a long time where I didn't get to play like online games. So I think I didn't even get to play like games online until I was like 16. So I mean, me playing online games. It's a rough life you lead. We didn't play until we we're like almost 20. I, well, yeah, but like when growing up. With all my, like, everyone I know yeah. playing, like, playing online games, I'm sitting here, I'm like, I have an, an Xbox and a PlayStation 2, and I play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels to the Roses. <laughs> <laughs> Are the cards, you Hey, you can play that cards. with your HughesNet. <laughs> I can. <laughs> you can play your turn-based games with HughesNet. I still, I still have the game, too, by the way. Get to play. I have a lot of people. Don't complain you can't play video games. You can play. <laughs> no, so I, I don't. I'm actually trying to play less video games because I'm, I'm just trying to get out of it because it's just one of those things where, like, because I'm very... Are about to go into time again? I think we're about to hit a time conversation again. Probably. What? What? Time conversation? Time. Talking about like you're be talking forever? <laughs> no. Were you talking about time? Like a legitimate time conversation? Like yeah. no, 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 no. I'm talking about I'm. Well, you said you were going to quit playing video games. I figured it was because I value my time and time. If you lose time, no. you have more time, and then time, time, time. I don't value my time. <laughs> uh, no, because I. <laughs> the beginning of this episode kind of made it seem like you did. <laughs> What are we talking about in the beginning? <laughs> Time? It's really sad. I'm. I'm Anyways, continue. So continue continue right now. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to all. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Going on it's now. not off the rails. We're in the podcast. By the way, I've been awake since 11 p.m. I not that you would know because we didn't introduce the show. I am dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I got for like the title and nothing gave it away. <laughs> In <laughs> fact, they clicked on this on. Yeah, arm, they don't like, know. They don't know. Yeah, they, don't, they don't know if it's off the rails or not. Yeah, they closed their eyes and just went, all right, I'm going to put my finger here. Welcome to the Absurdity Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do the intro music right now. And like, have, like at the end of the episode, do the intro music. <laughs> Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, <laughs> Absurdity69. Continue. <laughs> no, so, uh, uh, why am I forgetting this word? But um, Time. Pipes. <laughs> Sorry, go. I was uh, why, why am I? I can't think of. But I have. I have no control over myself. Like, um, he doesn't want to play video games anymore. He has no self control. No, I have no self control. So everything I do, it's either zero or hundred. So if I play video games, I play video games until I feel like passing out. Oh, that's so not good. It's not. I'm very. I'm, I can sit there and be like, I'm done. It's probably time I should go to the bathroom and eat. No, it's, I do that in between gaming, but like. I'll bring like some pizza rolls in and eat and continue gaming. Yeah, my yeah, yeah, pizza just, rolls are the bomb. It's weird because I don't have any. Dude, but no, like I'll sit there, I'll be playing. I'm like, I don't really want to play anymore, and I'll just turn it off and, and stop. See, but I I always end up playing competitive things, so I have the part of me is just like, no, I I want to keep being better, so I keep on like practicing. That's things. how my buddy is. He's like, you want to play another round? I'm like, no. <laughs> I've, I had don't. Enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm yeah, ready just, to get off. Just, if I play by myself, though, I I'm very into the mindset of I just want to get better. So I keep on like I'll I won't even like be playing against people. I'll start playing against bosses and start practicing strategies. And it's just like that's well, just no, I, like I'll, that's fun for me. Like some people just play just. To, like, I just get around. to the like I, I'm the same way. Like I just want to get better, but like I yeah. But your just, goal is not to be the best. No, you're just having fun. I literally like if I play a competitive game, I want like, to be the very best. <laughs> no one ever was. was. 
Is it, <laughs> ironic, <laughs> is it ironic that his last name was Ketchum and then the phrase of the show is got to catch them all? I'm pretty sure that was planned. I think so, too. Did you hear that? Th- I was thinking about that the other day, and I was like, this seems fishy. A little sus. A little magic carpish. <laughs> Dude, I didn't realize how dark Pokemon is. When no, you there's go some into very, like there's the, some very I mean, dark you put Pokemon. animals inside of a tiny ball for who knows how long. They're, they're, put them in a storage unit for who knows how long. They're, they're, because <laughs> yeah, I was, I was hearing people talking about like the different, like, <laughs> Some theories and the different stories behind Pokemon, like the idea of like a uh, electrode is the fact that um Gastly's or not Gastly's um is it Gastly the ghost Pokemon that like just no yes. Haunter. Mm-hmm. Haunter the evolved form of Gastly. Is it? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's been a long time Haunt- that I've but yeah, Gastly's the final form. Nope, Gengar is the final form. Ooh. Gastly, Haunter, Gengar. Yeah, there mm-hmm. you go. Sorry. But um, the idea is they, they, like, they like to like scare people. So the idea was they got like they went to a pokeball to scare trainers, but then because the pokeball got stuck, so it explodes to scare people. It's like oh, I killed a kid. I mean, it's just, I like, killed a kid. <laughs> I mean, just think about the original game. The fact that oh. you had to go to that tower where a ghost of yeah, the, of the, the Marowak. Marowak. Yeah. I mean, it, it was a tower of the grievous dying Yeah, it was a, it was it was a, a Pokemon cemetery. <laughs> It was a tower of the dead. But like, think about it. Like, think. Okay, if you look at the size comparison of a person and a Gyarados, Gyarados. and they put them in a ball this big, that's some. I that's mean, some animal cruelty. I mean, onyx. Yeah. A Snorlax. Oh, imagine finding a Beedrill. I like you. Beedrill's like as tall as a man. Yeah, I was gonna say like we went to like a normal size thing. No, but I'm thinking like, we're going like these massive creatures. Yeah, but I'm talking about like finding like a swarm of Beedrill in a tree. Oh God, screw that. Hard I'm out. Like the drills the size of you on their hands. Even a butterfly, I'd be like, nope, I'm gone. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> and then like the idea, a butterfly, butterfly, a butterfly the size of you. They're pretty and nice the, though. And then a Mister Mime. Still, like, just an insect the size of you. I'm out. Uh, a Mister Mime to spite a kid will just have sex with its mom. Ugh. That's a thing, yeah. That's 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 the backstory. A what? What did you say, Mister Mime? Despite kids that are being bad, they'll have they'll. I think the. Where did you hear this? Where did you hear this? This was not canon. Look it up. <laughs> Look it up. That's not canon. <laughs> <Look it up. laughs> that's, that's, want, what? That, where do you get that your entry? Fucking... That entry's not coming in on the Pokédex. Oh, right? I'm really <laughs> upset that I'm gonna pop up on some weird, <laughs> like <laughs> Rule Four Thirty Four fan fiction <laughs> hentai stuff with about. No, look, where... it up, look it up. Look, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of really weird. Mr. Like, Mime things. <laughs> Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime banged my mom. <laughs> that's gonna be a Tyler porn video. Said... That's gonna be 100 percent a porn gosh. video. <laughs> Is it a porn video? I don't. Want to hunt this down? Like specific. <laughs> what? So, what, Mr. Mime boned my mom. Uh, Mr. Mr. Mime. God, what's a good way to phrase? There's no good way to phrase. Punishes like where? Where by. is this allegedly at? That's what I'm trying to figure. Yeah, is it you, like in his? Is it like a, 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 a listen, description I, of him? Listen, is it I like read, a? I read this like four or five years. Yeah, ago. Yeah, you could also read that the Earth is flat. But no, this was this was this it was is. a thing though. This was an actual thing. Yeah, and the Earth is flat is an actual thing. If you go it's by how many people, thing. if you go by how many people follow it, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's no, there's not nothing in the Pokey universe is going to have anything to do with fornicating Check with it. someone's mom. There's a, there's it's a for children. There's a Pokemon that wears the skull of its dead mother. What do you mean? That has nothing to do with sex. Those Pokemon <laughs> death is re- like death. Death happens. Like that's to explain death to children. You don't need to explain my Those mom Pokemon having sex with an animal. Children, and that's part of their backstory. Is they murder Who? children. But God forbid one Mr. has Mr. Mime sex. murders no. children. No, there's a there's a Pokemon that lures children to their death. It lures them like the little spoke one. It lures people. It lures everyone. It's not necessary. It, it, they, they do specify what, children. Which one? Uh, in the thing, uh, what's the hip, hypno 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 no, something? It's not hip. No, it's a. It oh, looks hypno. like a little candle. Hypno. It's a little candle. That's oh. the only one that has any type of luring. That's the thing. thing. That's like no, no. no they, there's a lot more that have dark. Mister Mime, mom, fucking. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> That's pushing. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Okay. Watch Mister Mime and Ash's mom. <laughs> See what are you phrasing like? I mean, that? oh, hold on. She does have a Mr. Mime. That's. I think that was that was the thing. Maybe maybe I just read a lot of like stuff. I think you went into some like fan yeah, porn. That's all the, all the, the only thing that is it's that's popping up when you have anything that like I think the, you is, just is, went is, into like, some fan it's, porn. It's, it's, it's hentai. They're all hentai related like no, I'm fan sure service. It, went into, like, the it says. Wiki. 
Pokemon Ash's mom fucks Mr. Mime in her that's, prayer time. That's, that's, not the, what I, that's not what I read. They're not going to put anything... That's <laughs> not... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out... That's not canon. I'm not even going to go out on a limb. I'm going to tell you 100% factual that is not canon <laughs> this to anything. A, this whole conversation took a turn I did not expect. I did not either. But, but the Pokemon lore is really... Dark. How do we get to Pokemon? <laughs> Because you gotta catch them all. Thing. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you did think that. Yeah, the, the, the lore You're is <laughs> the lore is su- is pretty dark. Of like people that like genetically change other people into Pokemon, and I mean just the fact that the creation of Mewtwo is pretty dark. And he's, that's a he's a clone. That's what he is. Yeah. There's also Arceus, which and is that like was also the, the beginning the of God. the movie, and then immediately go into like the happiest song they've ever done of people like frolicking and we tried to create the strongest you, Pokemon. You and gotta we succeeded. You and gotta, everyone died. And it's like I want to be the very you best. You gotta, you gotta give it to to Pokemon though. They have some pretty catchy tunes. They do, yeah. But it's also Poker Rap, Rap's, Poker Rap's the best. But it's yeah. also super dark lore for children. If you actually yeah, but I don't think the ch- I don't think children. I don't think it's for the children. I think it's for the adults because the children aren't going to do that much reading. Are you crazy? I got quiet. <laughs> I know. I was, I was hoping you two would talk talk so I could verify. Well, he's searching things. something too. Or else, I, th- I think, yeah, I think he's still trying to debunk what I was saying. It's already been debunked. It's, it's been not debunked. true. It's debunked. The like, only way, the only universe is true is the porn universe, <laughs> not the Poke the universe. The weird porn channel you went, you went into. I'm so, I'm so, okay, so. Do, 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 uh, really do, 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 do. Mr. Mine has been a Pokemon since the. Drowsy is the Pokemon, is the Pokemon that you were talking whoa, about. Children, whoa, whoa, whoa. he eats the dreams of children. He doesn't oh. like, so he makes them go to sleep he and he eat eats their dreams. <laughs> doesn't kill the children. He just eats their dreams. He's Freddy Krueger. <laughs> so I, I try to find... What? Oh, okay. this... Is your phone like just like designed to go to the darkest places of the web? Probably. <laughs> no, this... Like so we've... we've, uh, we've uh, this is the first thing that came up mind. No, remembered like, your patterns. Like to, to get off... Th- this goes into my search, but this... Uh, like I don't care. I don't care about the Mr. Mind anymore because I just read this. And this is, this is crazy. So... I don't even know where to start in this. I don't know. Um, the beginning? <laughs> well, Satan Nintendo, he's, this person's talking about Nintendo, has really done it this time. I stopped opening this blog years ago, think I had made my case, but it turns out I was overlooking something far more sinister going on. Pokemon is making an attempt and succeeding at brainwashing American children with the homosexual agenda and satanic mime is proof. Oh, Talking about Mr. Mime. Lord. Don't understand? I'll explain. Mr. Mime is a Pokemon who has been around since the satanic brainwashing cult known as Pokemon began. His human appearance indicated that he is intended to be the role model for children. Children can identify with Mr. Mime, and that's exactly what... Oh, bummer? O-B-U-M-M-E-R? I don't know what that... It sounds like a username. Oh, bummer is? It probably it must be, yeah. Uh, up until this point, Mr. Mime has appeared somewhat benign. He has horns. No, he doesn't. He has hair. Yeah, he has hair. This is just a satanic panic piece. Yeah, all because that that is. Once, you, once you say uh, that something is... Literally, he has horns, but he didn't Mr. Have Mime was yet. one of my least favorite Pokemon. Because <laughs> he was useless. He, he was. was. He's just a dude. He's just a dude. Yeah. He's a dude that doesn't talk in mind. Like him or Jinx. Like, he's like either one. Yeah. So, no, he wasn't like brainwashing <laughs> me. Like, I... Avoided him. <laughs> Mr. Mime was a sleeper agent for. Oh God! Yeah, this is this is pandering. This is pandering to like crazy, homo- crazy, yeah. crazy conspiracy theories of the homosexuals, and he's teaching your children to do the same. That has nothing to do with Pokemon. In the name of Christ, they refuse to. Oh, see yeah, 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 we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done here. We're Get done. Out. You, that, you that lost is, all credit. Oh my God, that's so funny. Like, like there are like uh, another one like Mimikyu. That's a psychopath. Mimikyu is another one that's kind of scary. That's a little dark. That one's pretty dark. Uh, I'm, not, I'm about to look up dark Pokemon lore and see how. I've got you like 25 of the darkest, want, but none of them are that. Oh, uh, I forget. One. We're close to Fourth of July, so all these fireworks are gonna be going off. I thought someone about died. I heard some gunshots, but they were just fireworks. They might be gunshots. It might be. Mm, oh, of speaking really- of gunshots, I mean, this is off gunshots. topic. Did you see <laughs> the new? Uh, Purge movie coming out. The I, final Purge, or the whatever. Forever Purge. Yeah, the Forever Purge. I'm gonna be honest. I've never watched a Purge movie. I haven't either, but I've watched the show. 
I've never watched the show. The show, the show was good. See, it's just not my style. But they canceled after two seasons. Yeah. But it was good. I liked it. The purchase was in my style. Like I understand that like they were great movies. And people love it. Can you imagine if that like happened in real life where they're just like, <laughs> you know what? We're done. Every year that goes by, I'm just like, I don't feel like we're that far away. <laughs> the horror games keep feeling more and more realistic sometimes. Could you imagine though, like if they just took law away, like you could just do it. At, like we're close to it. I would not. I think that you would be more surprised by mankind than you would uh, think. I don't know about that. No, because I mean, mankind, yeah, I think mankind has a very huge history of being dark. Once people get too scared or frantic, chaos think, reigns, and then people kind of just push other people over. I mean, there's going to be issues with it. You are going to have people who would, you know, think that that. But I think society as a whole will not collapse in that situation. I think that would lead to like the next wave of where I would just, you would have like a Hunger Games situation. Another, I would 10 just years be worried about who wants me dead. Well, see, I would never me. worry about. <laughs> I never worry about the purge. I worry about more Hunger Games style because I can see Hunger Games happening. I don't, especially well. The, okay, I, so, I see, I see Hunger Games ha- being more realistic than the purge, but not because not without a purge scenario happening happening right, first. Right. Uh, but it's because of well, how because we already do fighting and we've already had gladiators. Well, it's not. not it's fun. not the fighting. It's if you that is not the the overall theme to take away from the Hunger Games. No. The overall theme to take away from the Hunger Games is capitalism is pretty. F- and that's well, what leads think, to that society that led to the Hunger Games. If you think about it, the Coliseums and like they wasn't always a one on one fight or a guy fighting animal. They had group fights. And what is that really? But like an and like a an old time Hunger Games of like a bunch of people fighting but, to the death until there's one winner. But do we do that anymore? And the Romans are uh, completely wiped <laughs> off the face of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like we evolved from that. Yeah, but hit, like. Were you about yeah. to say Hitler? No, I was about to say, <laughs> I was about like to say, but say history Hitler. repeats itself, but in. In different forms. In different forms. And also you have to think of the fact... We have blood sport. We have MMA. We have other things like that now that satiate that hunger. Did you ever watch... um, um, What was the Netflix show? Uh, Carbon something. Nope. Ooh, it was really... It was a really good show. I I only watched like two shows on Netflix. It was a really good show, but it was the idea of um, you have stacks implanted in your neck, like like a... Basically like a disc... And it holds your life. So if your shell dies, if your body dies, put a, you can put a stack in a new body. Ah, so, so essentially you your forever. brain's in a hard drive. And and they talk about... Your um, entire being is in a hard drive. Yeah. yeah. And literally, like, people that are in prison, they get like imprisoned. Like, that would be your brain, huh? Like, when people <laughs> get in All we are is a brain pilot in a meat suit. Yeah. So when they get when people get in prison, sometimes they get in prison for multiple life senses, and they mm. come out, and it's like they're not even in the same world. That's the idea, is this guy was a rebel basically fighting corporations fighting the government um, because like, I don't remember what was actually going on, but basically they, they killed his girlfriend and they, after they killed her body, they shot her in the base of the neck where they keep the stack. And then they killed him, took the stack and then brought him back to, because another, uh, one of the richest people in the world got killed, but he did, he got killed. He got shot in the head. Kept the stack, came into a new body, but his memories were wiped of the situation. He didn't remember what happened. Okay, I was about to ask, like, do you still like know who you were? You can, yes. That's terrifying to know that you died. And Sounds like so a new body. You know, the whole idea was people were, like the dude that got basically got killed and then kidnapped and then brought back to as basically the investigator. He was like a mercenary before. So you're like crying. <laughs> no, he came back. He immediately came back and started beating the hell out of people. And by the way, like this, like the amount of work this guy put in to like in the first scene. To just have like his lats like go out to like his arm, like his tricep. I'm just like, what did this guy do? Worked out. He has a hard time getting through doors. Yeah, I mean, this time. guy looks, he has a hard time keeping a butt. This clean. guy literally <laughs> went from like a supermodel waist <laughs> to like just a like a trunk mm. of a tree. I'm like, oh my. He God. uses a bidet. No, 100 uses a bidet. Gotta. There's I no feel, way I think clean you it. should honestly. I think you should too. They're I wonderful. think you should. Have you ever used a bidet? I've used one. I don't own one. But the, I don't either, but I want one. The idea Amazon. was that like... That, I want to get sponsored by someone first. Yeah. There's a spot. They, yep. The idea was that basically... Bidet since, sponsorship. Since basically everyone Tushy. was... The idea that since basically everyone was immortal, the, the fighting got more and more intense. Where like, you wouldn't mind if you died. Because if you... If you, there's no repercussions. Yeah, there's no repercussions. You get a new body. So they like so you still feel that pain though, right? <gasps> oh yeah. You feel yeah, that's, a, that's why I would but, be. But you've lived through like, you've died like nine times. 
You've already felt the pain. I mean, I'm trying not to die though. But, the first but then time. the thing when you die, the pain's gone. Yeah. And then you just wake up. So you just go for the quickest death possible. I mean, that's what you, you can. want. Yeah. You, I want the soul. It was really dark because, like, because people it, to it know that I'm dying. It does go into a lot of like poor people can afford better bodies. So people who like like their daughter die in a car crash and they'd be put into like a 78 year old Asian woman's body. And oh, then the parents would now. try to find her and be like, this is my daughter. It's like, my daughter was five and now she's 78. Now she's like, oh, I can't. But she's still five in the stack. But yeah, she, her body sucks. <laughs> she can never never really um, you can, and that's the other thing is when you're that old and you, if you're constantly being put in that old of bodies, you can never build your way out of that. Yeah. You can't make money to get out of that. Yeah. Bonus. Damn. Exactly. Yeah. It was, it's it's kind of like the healthcare system in America. It was, it was really dark, but I mean, the, the story grew great. Um, the reason it's I, a joke, just like the healthcare system. <laughs> 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 um, the reason I I don't think like I'm not saying like the Hunger Games are going to happen, but if I think if the re- if the Hunger Games were going to happen, I think the reason would be due to population. I'd go in there with. They a would fellow. find an excuse because of population, especially if we don't if we don't you know like leave the planet soon or something. Then like the population is going to get bad. Like we're already sitting at too many people. <laughs> Almost well, too many. Good people. news is, still- is America is in a deficit right now. Uh, you have so many. You have the you have the current genu- generations like the Z's and the millennials. Well, yeah, because uh, people who aren't, aren't having kids because because well, they're worried about money and working. And I also my biggest like I, I don't worry. I had enough. I have <laughs> I have a hard time justifying childbirth, like uh, biologically, like, like for women. No, just. It's like playing God, in my opinion. It's natural. It is natural, but I also literally every female on the planet they're designed to do. No, no, I I understand. I understand, but there's that whole consent thing. Not, not with your partner. No, 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 no
like I've been basically baby crazy since I was like 16 years old. I'm like, I, I like, I want a kid. There's just something about me where like, I, I, I want a kid. I, I love the idea of being a father and raising a kid. Cause I love the idea. But along the same lines, like there's a lot of things I need to fix about myself. Cause there's a lot of things that I catch myself doing. I'm like, I don't want someone to see me do that and then learn to do that unintentionally. So there's a lot of things I want to work on myself before I tell myself that I'm ready to have a child who's going to see me do these things that I shouldn't be doing. I haven't given myself the mental strength to stop doing. So I'm until I feel like I, I, until I feel like I'm a good role model, then I'm not going to have a kid. But no matter how much I want it, if I can't be a good role model and I can't raise a kid to be something like, to see me and be proud of who I am as a father, then I'm not going to have but a kid. But see, that's the thing. Your kid will always be proud of who you are unless you were a rapist or a murderer. But they'll always be proud of who you are. They'll be proud of who you are, but they'll be proud of who you are just because of the person you are. Like, because because of your, you being their father. I'm talking about no, being proud no, of what I'm what saying I've is, done. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No matter what, your kid will be proud of everything you've done. Yeah, but I, I guess a lot, a lot of it's also I want to be it's you want to be proud of what you've done. And I want to know that I'm, I want to be in a position physically and mentally where I can give them the best that I can do. Like, as, like I couldn't have a kid right now because of my finances. Like I couldn't do that. I also couldn't do I, it because I didn't I'm think I could either. Out. Whenever I, whenever I had my, my daughter. That's the other thing though. Like I've been told a lot that it gives you perspective. It gives you, it changes your motivation. It's easy for it me changes. to say because I've had kids. Yeah, like I said, he, he's the only one at the table who yeah. has any type of reference level. But like I said, that's another thing is like I've had friends who are like, no, I think it would, if you had a kid, it would be good for you because it would be, they're like, they they're know, life changing. They, Honestly, like, they really are. Like yeah. everyone, like my friends are like, we know who you are as a, and who you are capable of being. And if you had that child, that would force you here's to be the, that here's person. Here's the thing for most I'm going to say most because I will not say all. Yeah. For most people, the moment you have a kid, you turn into the best version of yourself because that's who you want to portray to your kid. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Like so, whenever, but like whenever I had my, my first kid, I was not financially sound. I worked, I worked at Sonic, you know, I worked, I lived in a two, at the time, a one bedroom apartment, mm -hmm. you know, just I'm making it paycheck, barely paycheck to paycheck. You know, I was still eating ramen to make it through. But I was like, someone told me, like, if you're not, if you wait till you're ready to have kids, you'll never have kids. I wanted a kid, but I didn't think I was financially ready, but I had one anyway. And look where I'm at now. I'm doing financially pretty also, good. I'm trying to avoid the, um, the cavalry curse of um, divorce. <laughs> Divorce. It, 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 it sits on the male side. So divorce, is, divorce is so common nowadays that it's just part of it. Like. That's another, that's the other thing is like, I, I don't, I didn't want to get married before 30 because I knew, like, I knew you knew me when I was a kid. Yeah. Like I knew that there was going to be several iterations of who I was before. Be right. And me, especially like through my experiences and how I would say how I have developed into a human being, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be the person who I am right. if I had got me. And I, I, I genuinely do like who I am. So yeah. uh, I, I'm, I'm just now to the point in my life after a long time of thinking I was prepared and thinking I was ready to date and thinking I was ready for hard, but I still had a lot of, you know, self reflection, a lot of learning to do. And now I'm to the point to where I am ready for that, but I'm also not the type that that's what I'm seeking. Right. I'm just letting well, yeah, it happen. Yeah. Because you're, I mean, uh, from your character, I feel like you have a lot more adventure to do. Oh, I mean, like, that's all my life more, anyways. Like, that's yeah. my thing is like, I'm not looking to settle down. I'm looking for a companion to continue the adventure. <laughs> right. yeah, I, and if we ever have kids, we have kids. Like I've, I've told my mom that I might not have kids until I'm in my fifties. And that might not even be my biological child. Right. I'm a firm fine. believer. I'm a firm yeah. believer in adoption. Like and, I'm a firm believer. in. And it. if you take care of yourself, that's perfectly fine. Cause there's people nowadays that are like in their seventies and eighties fitter than I am. Well, I mean, we're, we're yeah, I have a kid that's not biologically mine. Exactly. And we're, we're living. She's and my said, kid. And that's the other thing is like, I could marry someone who, who has that's a kid. Exactly. Yeah. You know weird? Oh, sorry. But I, I have this weird thing of like, I'm really scared of adoption. But again, it's, it's the whole idea of like, when you were saying like, like, uh, like you, you don't like, you don't, you're not a father until yeah. you hold the baby. I'm so scared. I'm going to get a kid and then just hate the kid. 
I don't know why. It's Every well, Benny the is terrified of that. Yeah, it, it's no, a genuine, I'm not it's like even one kidding. Of my only fears I have. I thought the same thing. Yeah. Like whenever my daughter was born, I was like, what if I don't like my kid? You know what? What if my kid doesn't like me? What if I can't be a dad? What if yeah. I don't know how to be a dad? Mm. But it literally, the moment you hold your kid for the first time, you're like, holy shit, everything makes sense. I Every, cried when I first saw Rayleigh because she was the only baby I got. To see. I cried when I oh, first yeah. held her. I bawled my Actually, eyes. when I first saw her, I asked the doctor if her head was going to stay that way because it looked, <laughs> Cause, cause looked, like yeah. it looked like an alien, like from yeah. the movie Alien. Yeah. Like Dad showed me a picture and I was like, I was like, it's not going to. Put I, that thing back. Immediately, I was like, I don't, I don't know about that. Like we might need to get a new kid. Like, that's put it back. It's not done. Is, oh. is having but, having a kid and then having a kid that you know gets born. But the doctor was like, um, no, her head will be yeah. fine. Like that's what it's supposed to look. Oh, yeah, because like, their brain, their skull's not formed. No, I mean, yeah, it's still soft. Well, and until, it had to. So, so they put into push a, out of something a lot yeah. smaller yeah. than yeah. their head. No, that's that's <laughs> yeah, so science. That's 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 meant to do that. Yeah, I know, but I was terrified. No, yeah, for sure. I was like, it's one of those things that that's natural that they don't tell you about going into it. No, I wish they There's so many things that are just natural that they don't tell you about. They just assume it's called knowledge. That was the first time I ever saw that. It was terrifying. The long head. Yeah, but I remember like the day it was well she was born like like in the it was like oh, like 10 30 at night something like that and i just remember i was so exhausted like which is so selfish but whatever oh, yeah. <laughs> but i was like i just want to sleep and so they were like well we can take her to the other room for the night and you can get you guys can get some rest and we'll bring her in the morning and at first i said yes but then i was like no no I want her back in. Can't put this off here. Mm-hmm. And so I didn't necessarily hold her all night, but she was in the room. Yeah. And I was like, I just want her to be in here with mm-hmm. me. Just to know that she was here. Yeah. And A, I was so scared that they would mix up my kid. And, and <laughs> you get a different one. Yeah. I was like, oh, I don't know. No, just leave her in here. It's fine. But like the next day, like I dressed her and like I literally put my finger. She like grabbed my finger. Oh, and I was like, see that? I was that, like, oh, that's good. Yeah. I wasn't ready to be emotional yet. <laughs> like, I, like I always like portrayed myself as like, oh, I, I don't cry. I don't. I'm a tough guy. Like whatever. Well, I was like, I'm not, I, was like I wasn't ready to be oh. emotional. Speaking of emotional, I watched a movie that my wife talked me into watching called Fatherhood mm-hmm. oh. with Kevin Hart. Uh-huh. Holy crap, I almost cried like six times. Just let it go, man. Let <laughs> yeah, it I, I don't hold it back anymore. Like, I'm, I'm just like, like the, cry, within cry. the first five minutes, I was like, mm. that's how I know it's a good, if it makes me yeah. cry, that's how I know it's a good well, movie. You know what's so Anything that has to do with kids uh-huh. immediately chokes tugs, me up. Tugs, tugs them hard. Because I just think of my kids, yeah. like in that in that moment, I'm like, oh, did you go through watch, such hard times? I don't, why? Why do they got to go through all this? Like, did you watch can't? the uh, anime assassination classroom? Yeah. I, I cried during part of it. Mm-hmm. There's several animes I've cried in. I, I, it's just that wasn't an anime I was expecting to cry in. It happens. The most wholesome like, ones do it. I haven't finished it. Finish it. I, I'm about. But I'm like, yeah, everyone that like my wife like posted on Facebook. She was like, "This movie's great," and everyone was like, "Oh, I want, I've been wanting to watch that." I literally went to. I was like, "Get your tissues. Get ready to cry. Get ready to cry because it's, it's coming." I'm not a crier, and I almost cried mm-hmm. <laughs> several times. And I had a buddy that was like, oh, crap, I'm a crier. I'm like, yeah, well, get ready, buddy. Get yeah, ready. You want to have them waterworks just pour. It feels good. It feels really good. good. To get it out. Like, once you're done crying, even if it's at a movie, you're just like, I feel really good. And I'm just like, I understand why women cry so much. It's a natural human emotion it that you're really supposed to happen. So I was emotional with, like, right off the bat with my daughter. And I, th- and I think it was just, like, a, also a daughter first thing. One, yeah. Like, yeah. I think it was just a dad-daughter thing. Like, you just naturally get emotional. The other, I, my, what I love the most right now is scaring the crap out of my son. <laughs> so the other Scare night wars. I was like, I was like peeling and I was like, Bryson, get in here. Something's wrong. <laughs> and he comes in. I was like, my skin's falling off. <laughs> he would not come near me. <laughs> he was like, oh. he was just like, no, he wouldn't look at me. And I, like, I picked him up and I tried to put his head on my shoulder like, and he was like, I don't want it. Oh, and then said, help me pull my skin off. <laughs> I did. I was like, you can uh-huh. pull some off if you want. And he was like, I don't want to. <laughs> that just, that gave, me, that gave me bad flashbacks. And oh. then the, the other day, oh. Oh. uh, he was running in to the bathroom, but he didn't see me behind him. So mm. I was like, ah, and he, he just like shoved one hand back. Like he was going to stop me. <laughs> like I'm nine times his size. And he was just like, I will stop you. And he, I just, his face like mouth wide open, terrified. Oh no. And so I, I went into my daughter's bathroom. He went into the bathroom and I came back out and he was like trying to scare me. Like he was at the door and I was like, so I thought you had to pee. And he goes, I do. Or I did. I was like, then go pee. He goes, I already <laughs> did. He's such a character. I know. I, I love it. it. I love it. Oh, man. And he gets, 
I, I'm so glad that you told me that like he cleaned his room by himself. Yeah. This morning he goes, dad, I'm going to clean my room. I was like, okay, good. So I, re- I rewarded him because I want that behavior to continue. Mm-hmm. So he cleaned his room. I went and bought him a Nerf gun. Oh, yeah. And well, he, for, first he goes, I want to get this one now. And I want to get the other one. That way I could have this one in my inventory. Oh, for it. Cause he, play, he, he, cause he plays Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah. Then there was a clearance thing and it had a bottle of water with Woody on it. Mm-hmm. And, I'll, and he goes, dad, look, it's Woody. I was like, do you want to get it? And he goes, um, no, I want my gun. I was like, you can get both, dude. It's a dollar. <laughs> it's a dollar. No. And he was like, okay. Cause we got to stay hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he's four. Like, what? Nice. How do you know hydrated and inventory? I don't even know how you say those words. How do you know how to put it in a sentence? (laughs) Oh, man. I can get using them, but like putting it in a sentence that makes sense? (laughs) Yeah, sometimes he he says things and you're just like, I don't know what you're saying. This is why I'm starting a podcast with him. And then other times he says things, you're just like, in the cub. Yeah, sometimes he says things and I'm just like, how old are you? Like, you sure you're not like 17? Boy? I know he's he's, he's literally like a four year old, like an yeah. 80 year old stuck in and a four year old. I, I know body. so many, like, because I've seen a lot of people there. It's like, oh, yeah, my kid talks really long. I listen to their kid. And they're like, mm-hmm. I'm like, what did your kid, your kid's not saying words. And then, like, I'm like, talks really well for a nine month old. <laughs> yeah. And, and I talk to Bryce, and I'm like, you talk good for like a 10 year old. <laughs> Like oh my god, he talks really good. Like we were just he like, does, he does the guy, the guy in front of me when he said hydrated. The guy turns around, he's like, <laughs> "I was like, dude, I was impressed. You know that word too." He'll get him, dude. Like, tell, he can he can say actual to, names of dinosaurs. I want to see him go to a restaurant and be like, "Do you guys are taking notes?" And they're so about <gasps> blasphemy, <laughs> or I'm flattergasted. Like I'm flattergasted by this behavior, this is an atrocity, <laughs> and I am befuddled. <laughs> He he is he is literally a character, and I love it, listening to him talk because yeah. it's just pure insanity. Mm. I, I hope I hope he gets something going. But I it all makes it. sense. Like everything he says makes sense. You're not like no, huh? it's what not you nonsense. Say? No, it, it's, it's all it's, it's all literally a formulated like conversation yeah. you can have with him. The context fits perfectly with what he says. Like the other day, I was like, "Well, oh, okay." So Wednesday, I told Anley, I was like, "Hey, the new episode of Loki comes out. We're gonna watch it." Well, then my buddy was like, "Hey, you want to play War uh, Warzone?" I was like, "Okay, yeah, let's do that." And I told Anley, I was like, we'll watch it Thursday night. Thursday night comes. Anley's like, I don't want to watch it anymore. I wanted to watch it yesterday. Like she went real savage on me. She always does. <laughs> and my son, I was like, son, do you want to watch it with me? He's like, no, nah, no, not tonight. I was like, okay, fine, whatever. So I started, I turned it on my room. My son comes in there, sits on the edge of the bed. He's like, dad, I'll watch Loki with you. <laughs> I was like, oh, I thought you didn't want to. He goes, yeah, but you're in here by yourself. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, he doesn't want me to be lonely. Oh, uh, <laughs> how nice. See, it's like, it's so weird to see a kid that young, but have the idea of like, oh, I don't want to say. He him. has such a great perception. He has such good empathy. Yeah. Perception. I mean, Which, he has all the big words. He's got all the big words. He's all the big words. He knows how to use them. He knows how to use them. He knows Which how to really be them. Because it's because, I mean, a lot of kids like. They they just don't have empathy because they're they're young. And it's just like just not a thing that they think about. They think about themselves. My wife wants us to bring him on and off the rails. <laughs> I mean, we oh should. God. We have a fourth mic. We could do it. Oh God! I mean, push this table for a little bit. Have another chair in the middle. Yeah. We like, what's up, little guy? We just have to watch our mouth. Yeah. Well, I think with him here, it'd be a lot easier. Yeah. And I. Uh, and I mean, yeah, I, I have. I would let him just. I don't have a whole lot of problems. I want to get him on the most <laughs> dirty mouth. I, I was like, right when he said we have to watch him out, I was like, like Cameron. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you. Were, you said you said the f word like two times in the very beginning. No, I know, <laughs> I and like, I did it with infamous, inf- infamous emphasis because. I and knew. sometimes he does them so sly that I miss him in it. No, I know, I do, I know, <laughs> yeah, I know. Sometimes I, know. I like sometimes if I'm not like intently paying attention. Yeah, I missed the second one for like a minute. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no. I mean, I've cut back a little bit. Yeah, no, you have for sure. On that word, for sure. I I, want to, I want to say this, and it's because it's a nice thing that, um, because I've been, I've been going through a lot mentally because I had like the whole medication issue, I had my injury issue, and I live very isolated. So like my social life consists of my work and this pretty much. Like besides that, I'm a hermit. So I I went to work. Um, Also, I'm, I love that I'm a morning person, so I wake up and I'm pretty happy when I first wake up. I don't get upset until the end of my day. <laughs> like, I, I, so like, now. <laughs> I mean, yes, but it's it's because like, especially today, because I had such a bad Oh, good. Day. I had a really get bad day. Get away from off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you, 
it, it felt good to go from my from being pissed off at work because I went into I left my house at two a.m. I've been awake since eleven p.m. I I power washed the lot for four hours just to find out that not only did we did we not have the extra people that were supposed to be covering me so I could do the lot. But we also missed the regular people that were supposed to be there. So nice. I had to do four hours of power washing, then come in. And then literally, I lost four, 3.4 pounds in water weight today. Because I weighed myself when I left work. I was a hundred... I don't remember the exact weight. I remember the exact I lost because I came home. Because I told some, I told someone, I was like, I guarantee you I lost three pounds. And I lost exactly 3.4. It was like 183 to a, 183 point something to 179 point something. But uh, I probably lost about four pounds of water weight sitting in here. I mean, <laughs> I guarantee water. you, I'm gonna go home. I lost another two pounds. Dude, when I setting this thing, setting all this up earlier, whew, oh, oh yeah, I had to take a shower. Yeah. But uh, uh, I'm gonna explain my day today and then I'll go into the good thing. So let me get out my bad stuff okay. real quick. Get out your I, bad stuff, get out your good stuff, so we can yeah. move on to the yeah. ironically good for you song that we need to talk about because we're already at 56 minutes on this segment. And we yeah. were on 25 for the other one. That's fine. <laughs> Um, Stacking them up. We're gonna get a but, long episode. So, like, I was, I did the, I didn't sleep. Well, I didn't sleep at all, and I was obviously I didn't sleep at all. I slept between like f- five and eleven, so I slept a good, decent six hours. Six hours. I didn't sleep at all except for it's a regular, 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 regular night sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, uh, I mean, yeah, it it's, was. That's what I get. That's, that's because, yeah, six is pretty average. That's because I didn't sleep between, oh, uh, what was it, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. And then I slept. You know, lack of sleep is probably the worst thing you can do for your body. You, I know, but I don't it's do like it. almost just as I bad as eating junk it. food. I don't do it intentionally. <laughs> well, I know, but like you need to get. I mean, you like, should intentionally go to sleep at a regular time. I like try regular, to. You need to get something to help you, like some sleeping pills or something. I've tried <laughs> something to help you sleep. I've tried. My, I, I have a messed up head, and I, I'm trying to do like more. How many monsters stuff. have you had today? Just this one. How many energy uh, supplements of any kind have you had today? This. And that? No. That, that's been there for no, a I'm saying, And the monster? Yeah, but I've also had like... you had like pre-workout? Not, have you had no. any, none of your other stuff that you've been taking? No. I have, uh, I've had like 9,000 milliliters of water. I've been working out vigorously. I even went for an hour swim today. Cut out caffeine more. Well, I, do, I usually don't drink caffeine this late. I'm just saying, Actually, I'm normally, saying in general, cut out, cut out more. I, I mean, I pretty much only drink water other than days of record. Okay. <laughs> like that's, that's not, I drink a lot of caffeine. That's not the issue. I, I've been, I've been lot. strict on myself on like when I need to lay down, when I need to stop eating, like I won't eat after four because I need to be laying down by six so I can wake up by two. Actually, so I can wake up by one so I can leave by two to get to work at like 3.30, 3, uh, 2.30, 2.40 to do the lot. The issue is like sometimes my brain just thinks of nasty things and sometimes it's hard to shut that down. So I like trying to focus on my breathing. A lot of time that doesn't work is halfway through my breathing. Bad stuff is it like back. the Is it like the sound of like mixing mac and cheese? That I like wish. That would just give me a horner. <laughs> Good pussy. <laughs> pussy juice. <laughs> thank you, little one. Wow. But, uh, Did you just say thank you, little one? I said thank you, little Wayne. Oh. <laughs> little Wayne. Yeah. I thought you said little one. I was like, oh, no. Yeah. No. Um, but so, so yeah, so I, I slept decent, but I slept decent for that time period. But then again, I, I knew that I was going to be awake from, you know, 11 p.m. to when I get home, which, you know, might be 10 p.m., might be midnight. You never know how this is going to go sometimes. So I'm just like, True. ooh, this is going to be a long day. So I did the power washing and I go inside the store and I work at Sonic Drive-In, so... Uh, I was making drinks and then I had to get in the kitchen and make the food. And then I had to car hop it at the same time. We had almost a full lot. So I was answering the board at the same time. And then we had another person in the kitchen and her only job was to cover part of the kitchen that I wasn't covering at the time while doing all these other things and also stocking after power washing for four hours at 7.38 a.m. after I've already been awake for nine hours. And all she had to do was do one part of the kitchen that I wasn't covering and then do a little bit of prep. And she was like, I'm about to walk out. I'm like, I am sprinting my ass off. I had a resting heart rate of 135 for hours. I wouldn't have done that. I love working. And I, 
I have to, I have a no. thing. I, <laughs> Not that much. I, I, if it I, was my job, if it was no. for me, yes. For someone else, no. I, I have a thing where I, I like to make other people's lives easier so that they're happier at the cost of my own happiness, but I'm happy to see them have less stress on themselves. So the more other people feel better, the more I feel better that I was able to do that for them. So when I'm working my ass off to make everybody's lives easier, then I hear one person sitting in the back that's doing not even a fifth of what I'm doing and being like, I'm about to walk out. I almost punched this bitch in the jaw. I was like, I'm doing so much for you and you're, ju you're just, you're throwing a fit over doing very little. It's like, it made me so mad, but. Self-entitlement. It is because I'm I'm giving up my health right now because I'm dehydrated. Not self entitlement on your part. No, no, no. I'm saying like <laughs> on her part. Like I'm sacrificing. I think it's both. Well, yeah, like because you're, you're doing these things for your own. Like I said, you don't. This is that's but, not your job. You don't have to do these things. Not, you're choosing not, to do these but things. But I'm not doing it so. And then I'm you're getting, getting mad. mad so they can. I'm getting mad because I'm being stressed out, and she was about to walk out on me, and then I was going to have to do her job on top of that if she would have walked out. So it would have made my job harder. I would have to do more things because I'm doing all these things to help her and other people. And then she still had the audacity to be like, I'm going to walk out. It's like, so you're going to walk out, even though I told you I'm going to do all these things to make it easier. And then I'd have to do your job anyways. Yeah, but I worked at Sonic and I said I was going to walk out like 27 times. Yeah, but she has. Okay, well, that's fair. <laughs> you got a pass. If you got a record, yeah. That's I mean, that's you got fair. a record. You got, but like I said, I, I, I'm the only person I know that comes into the, like, I don't have to be at work until 4, 3 in the morning. But I, I enjoy working and I want to do things. But you're so, complaining. No, I'm. Com listen, I don't mind the work. I love the work and I feel good doing it. My only complaints are when I do a lot of things for other people to make their lives easier. And then they still have the audacity to complain about the things I have to do. It's like you're at work, but yet you're complaining about having to do like if you have to do a minuscule amount of work, you complain about it, even though you realize that I'm doing all the things you're supposed to be doing. But I'm I'm doing them because I want to make I want to make these people feel better. But then they're choosing to feel bad, which and then they're complaining to me about the things they still have to do. And I tell them like, oh well, I'm sorry, I I can't do that right now. I'm doing nine other things. So it's like what? Well, it's a lot of a lot of it's on me because I don't have to do these things. I could just make them do their job, and I should make them do their job. So it's it's partially my. You're fault. giving them a crutch. I am. I'm making their life easier because I... You're turning them into spoiled brats. Because I have the idea that like... And this is... I have... I'm basically like trying to... I guess I'm trying to force a mindset on that and be like, oh no, you should... You can't like, force a mindset on anybody. Yeah, because a lot of it's like I... I when I do it, I, I think that, oh, they'll be appreciative and then they'll... No. They'll nope. want to do what they're doing better because no. they... Because I'm helping them. Nope. No. It, the, the human mindset is get the most by doing the least amount of work. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just... It's nature. So... And also, I mean, it's minimum. It's a minimum wage job, and where exactly. it wants to be at. So go in and do the job that they pay you for. Yeah, do the minimum, and then go home. I, do exactly what's asked like. I'm you saying, like it. it'll. It's gonna help your like. The, you were. I'm not telling you how to live your state, life. Honestly. I'm just. I'm telling you, this is the job that you do. Go yeah. in and do your job and go home. Okay. Here, here's another. So if I'm if I'm doing a job that requires me to be by myself, like if I'm, I, I love jobs where. We have a decent amount of people who are like, okay, I'm going to be utility and make sure everything gets cleaned, everything gets stocked. If I can do the lot, well, like if I can do things that I can get done that other people don't want to do, like I'll clean gutters because I, I I mean, I enjoy it. It's, it's hard work. It's something like there's something about me. Like I like hard work and things that are nasty that other people don't want to do because I like how it looks. I like to do things where I can see that there's been benefit from it. Like cleaning a lot, I can be like, I can see benefit. I can restock things and be like, all right, this looks organized. This looks good. I like to clean things and be like, all right, they look clean. And so I like to do those kind of things. But when I get into the things of like, I have to, I guess when I have to work with other people, I, I instantly try to start doing everything to make their load easier. But if I'm not doing things that like basically involve other people, like working in the kitchen with somebody else, I don't have that issue where it's just like, oh, these people are unappreciative and they don't want to work. They didn't. They're not, it's not that they're unappreciative. They didn't ask you to do their job. You're Some, taking it upon lot, yourself um, to do their job. No, a lot of it is they get asked to do it. They refuse to do it. So then, so I'm just like, so nobody's doing it. I'm like, fine, I'll do it. Because our, our, my boss is a pushover. Okay, then you you don't have to do it either, though. I'm saying... Then your boss would have to do it. Yeah, and that's what... You haven't seen my boss. Well... He's like 300, 320 pounds. Yeah, so. except that their job... No, it literally, is on the line with no, that. It, 
it's not because there's things that didn't get done for months that need to get done. And then auditors said it need to get done and then never got done. You never That's still on their shoulders. If they're in charge when those things don't get done, that falls on them, not you. Yeah. It's just, it's such a weird system of like, there's so, there's no consequences. Exactly. You work, in a, you work at a corporate job. There's no yeah, consequences you work at a until it's time. Wage job. Like it's like, like I, would, I work. I where I like I said at my job. There's no consequences for the people that don't do their job. There's only the consequences for those who go above and beyond. So mm-hmm. why do it? Because I it's, work it in a do job where I, like I have it. no. I like con- so my first then day. Get into, get, in, get into a scenario where it's going to benefit you doing that's that. That's what I need. I need to find a. I need to find a job that benefits my work ethic. Of I look. Like I do not mind coming in early. I do not mind working long days. I don't mind working hard. Hey, we just lost an installer. Seriously? Yeah. How much? Like I, I don't know what it pays, but okay. like he tried to punch someone, so <laughs> he's gone. Yeah. Oh uh, wait, wait, installer. Like, what do you mean? Like, what kind uh, of stuff? washers and dryers? <sighs> it's not hard. That sounds fun. No, that sounds. But I do it regularly. I, my, my big thing is like that's a lot of travel. Yeah. And so I have to think of like if I sit down for too long, I get extremely tired. It's not as much travel as what I do. It's not? Okay. No. I mean, you I, will have to travel here and there, but like most of it's like not I, near what I do. I, I, I like the you're, the stereotypical you're, man thing of like lift everything. A sweat. lot of the time in a warehouse. Oh. See, I like if I could, I could stay in this room for like 10 hours and walk out and be smiling ear from ear. And I'd feel good from just sweating and being miserable. Something about like being physically miserable makes me happy. That it's sounds like, like something is mentally wrong with you. <laughs> that's right. That's probably right. Anyways, the good thing you shouldn't is, enjoy being physically miserable. Well, it's it's the it's not the the misery. It's the the work to get through it. Especially if you're with other people. Like when I was on a ship and I was working in a, what's called a scullery, which is basically the kitchen. And there was one day that the ventilation went out. So all the steam just stayed in the room and it was like oh, 110 God. degrees in this small metal room on a ship. And I'm sitting there listening to music full volume on two massive JBL speakers that are Bluetooth to each other with like no shirt on or anything, just fucking dancing. I'm just like, yeah, fun time. You know what we should do as a, as a podcast? What? We should go to do a escape room. I, I was literally listening to people talk about doing an escape room. It was I know, I know where I heard it. I know where you heard it. <laughs> I know exactly where you got that from, Mike. But we should do it. I, I, would, I, would enjoy I think it'd be fun. I would, I would enjoy that because I, I like, I do like those kind of. We things. did a, we did a podcast movie date one time. We should do an escape room. Um. So, anyways, the the good thing though is that um, we invite listeners. They can do it too. Yeah. All four of you. <laughs> Fourteen. Thirty-eight. No pun. The intended. good thing. That's seventeen thirty. Yeah, seventeen thirty. Oh, okay. It's actually a password on my phone. Ten eight. If I ever die, Ten. don't look through my pictures, please. Okay. Yeah. You won't. You won't like it. I was, I was just saying. <laughs> he, he probably would like. I, I've. I had a situation in high school where um, I was with somebody at the time, and we would send pictures, and then somebody thought it'd be funny to go through my like an mm-hmm. a buddy of mine thought it'd be funny to go through my phone and like through go through my because he had taken a bunch of photos mm-hmm. on my phone without me knowing, and then like went through the photos, found a picture of my dick. He's like, dude, I'm about to swear you. I'm like. You're on my film, my man. Well, how, you how, how, like I said, you can't get like I said. You I don't can't get mad if you're going in someone else's phone. You, you can't get mad at anything you see on my phone if yeah. if you see it. But yeah. like, you're gonna think of me a lot differently, guys. I'd have been more upset <laughs> if I would have swiped one more picture and seen my girlfriend. Uh, then I would have been like, oh, that's get off my phone, and now we might have to fight. Yeah. You can so, see my dick, but don't look at my girl's pussy. I think we have to discuss this song next week. Yeah, I'm down for that next week. So teaser. We'll discuss it next week. Can I just on to to end it? I want to go into my good thing. Yeah, 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 get to it. Yeah. Um, so again, so because I've been going through a lot of mental issues and I'm still going through it, but I'm being a lot better and I feel good. And I think it was Wednesday. I woke up and I went to work and it was like 2 45, 3 a.m. Quiet, nice, cool, had a breeze, beautiful morning. Like the the main road in Claremore was quiet, like one or two cars passing by and like listening to it was like peaceful, just and the wind going by. I'm like, oh, and I was sitting there. I'm like, I'm genuinely happy right now. And I realized like when I wake up and like my process to go to work of like I wake up at one, I stretch, I work out, I have my my drink, I take my vitamins, I listen to music on my way to work, you know, on that like 40 minute drive, I sit there and I'm like, bobbing my head like yeah listen to music like singing out loud windows down flow in smiling the entire time like my day doesn't get bad until i'm about to leave work which i guess is like 9 a.m <laughs> 9 10 a.m 
terrible time for your day to get worse. Yeah, it's like just the beginning. <laughs> it's like the start of my day. Wait, but but I've been telling myself like I like I need to embrace the moments of my day where I because to where I genuinely feel good and where I'm genuinely happy of like yeah I'm like those things I'm stressed about. But there's more things in that moment that I'm very happy about. Like, I feel good. I'm having good thoughts. Like, I'm excited to see my coworkers first thing in the morning. Like, the coworkers I see first thing in the morning are my favorite people, except for one person. But I don't have to deal with her too often. But, like, my my opening manager, opening car hop. Like, I, I love those people. I go in and we always have stories to tell. We gossip like little schoolgirls and we're smiling. It, it's a good time. And then even after work, like... Now I get, now I go out and go swimming. I sit in the water and I close my eyes. I listen to the waves and I sit there and I float on my back and I relax. And I just let the sun hit me, let the waves go by, listen, relax. And I feel like that's what I had to do today because I was so upset. I just wanted to hit somebody so bad. I was like, I need to get in the water. I got in the water and I got out and I was, I was like euphorically happy. I was like, I feel amazing and then i couldn't and then as i as i laid down went to go take a nap of course as i went to doze off get a message from you <laughs> i messaged you at 2 30 in the afternoon like this just seems like a That's pretty reasonable time to message reasonable. someone yeah but when i when i have when i wake up at one and then i get off at work at like 10 to noon and then my only time to take a nap before i come here is you know you didn't have to respond my, my phone was by my head because that's where I keep my alarm. And then... It's just me. You ain't got to respond. Awake. I'm used to it. <laughs> I don't <laughs> ever I respond. I was awake at that point. So I was like, I'm not... I was I was at the the, the like the cliff of like falling asleep. I was honestly and then, and wasn't then, sure if everyone was showing up today because yeah, we hadn't talked to really just spoke. <laughs> I was like, uh... So yeah. My wife was like, are you guys still recording? I was like... Is the podcast still real? Like, because yeah. like, you usually hear by like four. So I was, it was like... Four four forty five. And oh, my wife's like, I, are I you guys? Just, or no, it was after five, and she's like, are you guys still recording? I was like, I don't know. Yeah, you I hope me so because I mis- moved everything in here. Because yeah, you messaged me at like five thirty four, and I had just passed uh, just passed Dollar General and Claremont. Yeah, I'm like yeah, I'm, I I'm, texted him right after that too. When okay, when are you going on your vacation? Uh, the twenty eighth of July. Okay, I thought I thought you guys went on vacation at the same time because you because no, yeah, I knew it wasn't like, the same time. But of like, how does it feel like you're going to be here and we're going on a vacation? Oh no, we're not. We're at the same time. That's why. That's uh, why I didn't message you about. Uh, coming over Thursday, uh, Friday for the recording. Also, yeah, I was, I was home Friday. Because I was like... When you mentioned that, I didn't even think about it, but I remembered saying that I wasn't going to be there Friday. So I was like, oh yeah, I wasn't even there Friday. But then, then after I said that, I had the thought of like, oh no, what if DK like came by the house and I just wasn't there? <laughs> well, because I, I was looking <laughs> at Anchor me. and I was like, there's no off the rails. Yeah. I was like, what if they're waiting for me to record it? Yeah, I, I didn't know. I didn't. I thought, because all, all I remember you saying was, yeah, you guys got off the rails this week. And I was like, all right, cool. And that's, that was the last thing that yeah, I thought about. None of us even thought about the next off the rails. Yeah, so. I was like, I was like, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. I was like, because I thought I was like, didn't we record two off the rails? Or yeah, maybe yeah. I was like, I don't know, something. No, we just Cameron's heard. got it. <laughs> <laughs> it took like an hour thing to figure. Out. I was like, oh no, we don't. Yeah, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. We just missed. A week. We just give you an extra long episode this week. I think you I mean you guys got they they got an extra long episode the week before. The actual yeah, sure. extra long off the rails, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was an like an hour off the rails. Yeah, yeah. So there yeah. you go. You're when, I saw, when I saw it get uploaded, I was like, they really, really milked this one. Yeah, we got to, we got to the we <laughs> were getting close. We were winding down, and I was just like, I know, I heard you. I was, you were like, oh, we're we're getting about fifty eight minutes. Yeah. Like, yeah. It was also <laughs> because it was the first time of just recording off the rails when we usually record yeah. a full episode. Yeah. So it'd yeah. be pointless to record for thirty anyways, minutes and walk away. Ep- <laughs> but yeah, for the end of the episode, I um I'm feeling very good. good. Um, I still have a lot of moments of like. Like it's severe anxiety and because I'm not taking medication, I'm trying to smoke less weed because I'm, because it's hard for me. Like, again, no moderation in what I do. So sometimes I smoke too much weed and then that hinders me. So to mitigate it, I'm trying to smoke a lot less weed and always smoke it when my body needs it because of pain mm-hmm. or if I'm so exhausted to like to get moving, I need my body to be jolted. By I'm thinking about like, getting into that CBD stuff. Well, CBD is very good for you and you don't need medical care for it. It's good for your body. And it I think I'm not doing it from my back. Much. My I've best, got. Oh, it's good thing. for you. Like medically, it's just, it's just good for you. I guess I think it's seven words that we could really close this one in on, guys. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Smoke <laughs> weed every day. That's my lifestyle, and that's how I'm going to continue living it. That's nine words. Hey, 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 hey. Smoke weed. That's eight every 
day. That's A words. <laughs> A words. Hey, 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 hey. Smoke weed every day. Yep. <laughs> Did you say guys? That's the end? Or no. Just, okay. No. I just said that's how it's going to. Gonna thank be. you for watching this. <laughs> thank you for listening. We yes, can thank count. you. Man, I, can, I always forget that we record like the actual video. And I forget that we have even used YouTube as a platform. I'm starting to consider if we want to keep recording video or not. Because also, like, I also want to do like, because it just looks weird doing three cameras. I kind of wish we could just do one full screen camera. I like the three cameras more than the one. I I feel like the one feels more cluttered. The three Mm -hmm. gives it, I even like, my homies were like, oh, dude, it's so great that you guys do it like in separate rooms. And I was like, no, we're all in the same room. We all do it together. Like, dude, they're like, it sounds so good. And everything looks so cool when you do it like that. And I'm like. I, I mean, I would love to have someone that could like switch between scenes. Yeah. That way it lo- actually looks even better. Yeah. That way whoever's talking is like on this, like that's all you're seeing. Mm-hmm. But you know, I can't, I can't do that and talk at the same time and like try to focus. Like I can't, can, you, be like, can that be a, can, cause are you record, are you, so you have the three stacked in that, is that like a scene in itself? Yeah. So could you record like those three separately? And then when you go back and edit those audio footage, there's, there's, a, there's, a, video a, multi, footage there's a multi-cam function. In, yeah, it's, in there, but it's it's not just not not bueno. It's it's no it's, bueno. No, oh, like such is life. I I, I've, I dabbled with it. I think you dabbled with it. It's, no. it's just it's, it's a pain. Yeah, I mean, I, there, there's an easy way to do it on here. It's just yeah. I need someone. Oh, they're doing it. Yeah, it was an easy way to away do it, from me. Not in, not involved in yeah, the conversation. Because maybe they maybe like asking them a question yeah. here and there, but like their main focus is to like, it's like switch back Google, and forth. Yeah. Yeah, it's like trying to Google in a conversation. It's like you're going to like your sentence is going to just wander off because you're not focused on that. You're focusing on trying to find something. exactly. Yeah, so that's why I because I was going to try it today, but I was like yeah. I was testing it as we were just talking before we started. And I was like, yeah, I can't no, do this. We, we try to do it with just you and me, and you're you were just like no, no, and my like, computer my computer couldn't handle it that time. That too, but also you're sitting there and like you were trying to like yeah, you were I trying can't. To and, and that was just two. Like, oh, um, trying to do three. Fun, yeah. uh, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna order some uh, blanks off of Amazon. I want to get some nice American Gun apparel, blues? American apparel uh, t-shirts uh, to have your wife oh, print okay. up some of those logos. They gotta be on. polyester. They gotta be polyester. Mm-hmm. The, the ink doesn't stick on cotton. Ah, damn it! Time to invest in a screen printing machine. I, I, I want to. I, what? I want to. Yeah. I think when my phone vibrate before the recording, you're like, turn that thing off. Your vibration <laughs> is insane, though. Well, it's because I have a metal thing. Yeah. Mine. Like, yours has gone off twice. Mine's just. <laughs> actually, it's gone, went off a lot more when I was sitting up right here. Uh, mm-hmm. I was watching messages just roll in. <laughs> All right, guys. So anyways, thank, yeah, cool, yeah. Thank you for listening. Cool information for the end of the recording, anyways. <laughs> yeah. So thanks for listening. Good to be back. Sad, so lackluster. Yeah, thanks for thanks being for back. Me. Glad to have you back, big guy. Yeah. yeah. Like, follow, if, if comment, was, share. Like, yeah. The nostalgia. 36, nine. Nice. Smash that like button. Smash that MF and like that button. Tap the, tingle that bear bell. That tickle bear. that bell. Tickle tickle the, the bear. Yeah, or the bear. Or the bear. Tickle, tickle the bear. Or the bear. Or the bear. Yeah, yeah, all right, that, guys. Tickle that bell on YouTube. You know, let's do it on Spotify. Yeah, make sure you hit that bell. That way you know when we're when we're uploading. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the, the off the rails I uploaded was on the wrong time. I did it for 5 a.m. I know. Dad was confused. I know. I was confused too. I was like, did he upload it? I, I don't pay attention. Because <laughs> I was up at upload. midnight and I was like, it's not out. It's not out. This is weird. Dang he, he but the best of was out at midnight. <sighs> I forgot what we did. Maybe we did midnight. I was just Fun fact. I don't yeah. think I was involved in the best of it all. <sighs> no, no. That's the funny thing is that I didn't like how you titled the best of because – you're, you're well, that like, just lets me know where I sit on the show. No, 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 no. Here's, 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 no, I knew, like, I knew it was made. Like, you made it way, like, you said you had made it, like, on the first episode that I had recorded. So, yeah, and. And I, he was I, time crunched. I was, yeah, what, between editing and all the problems I was having with, yeah. with yeah, the editing. I'm not tripping. I was like, but shit, I, I don't have enough time to add more in. Yeah. Like, I, I was like, so, okay, I just got to get so, it all out. So, <laughs> you, you lost, we lost one listen this week episode because all I did was. Kind of casually scanned through it, okay. And I didn't hear myself, so that's fine. Hey, listen, hey, next best of you, all me. I'm just kidding. (laughs) Yeah, we're just gonna. No, we're just no, we're just gonna get every clip of his and just put it in there. (laughs) It's just gonna be him talking to himself. (laughs) (laughs) A best of a best of each of us. That would no one want to hear that. No one wants to hear. No one wants to hear just one of us. No one wants to hear any of us. Or else I'd just be doing a podcast by myself. Hey, it's just one. No one wants to hear that. I couldn't talk to like myself for that long. Moments. Actually, I could. You could. I could. The best of bloopers. <laughs> the best. Of, I wish. I wish we had an editor good enough to like. I say good enough. I'm the one. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I, wish yeah, I, wish I wish we had an editor. I wish we had an editor. I wish we had an editor. Yeah. Yeah. I wish we had a better editor. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I wish that we could. He's going to catch that one, though. I, I know he is. It was just above <laughs> par, honestly. <laughs> that we could get bloopers, but. I mean, we could. There's we not really bloopers. Literally... We don't really have bloopers, though. It's, it's not like we have a scripted line. line blooper. Yeah. It's, I mean, this we... show is a blooper. I'm, this show but, is a blooper. If we wanted bloopers, you are just like, the second I get here, click record and then just wait for TK to get here. Oh, God. We just never stop recording. <sighs> a seven hour long episode. We're gonna have to get. We're gonna have to invest in like terabytes of external yeah, hard drives. No kidding. <laughs> anyway, and and toodle. Try, yeah, toodles. Bye. We just have the audio that plays at the beginning, and we're good. Listen, Cameron hasn't got to do an intro for three fucking weeks. Okay, yeah, know, his intro blue balls are backed up. He yeah. needs to get this intro out. If he doesn't, he's gonna explode. Seabony intro all over the walls. Create creamy intro. And creamy intro. Thirty juice. seconds of our time. Yeah, it doesn't take long. I don't know why you're so opposed to it. It's, 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 very, it's very unnatural, and it's very obvious Obvious when it's very unnatural. I can make it pretty natural, my friend. No, because I've, I've seen the other times where it's where we're just like, oh, we didn't do the intro, and we've done one late. Especially when it was just you and me, and I went back and watched it, I'm just like, oh, it's, it's really obvious. It's just, it's obvious. I can tell. And it's just like, yeah, I can tell that it's like, that it's like, the, it's the not authentic opening. It's not the intro. But if you're listening, then you will know. You still can't tell. I don't think so. Especially since the intro, it's all like the end of the intro is going to go clean into the very first conversation because they, they don't. It, it could. They don't because of the way that we always start episodes of like some weird conversation. Sheesh! Sheesh. Fine, we won't do an intro. I'm just saying. No, like, we, won't do do it. Do no we, do we won't do it. We won't do it. We won't do it. Okay. We won't do it. And I, mean, I said that in the beginning. Cold intro. Screw yeah. it. Okay. Cold. Why not just go Chilly. with having fun? Since we forgot about it anyways. I mean, I didn't forget. It just didn't happen. There was too much talking. No, we literally just went like, oh yeah, we didn't do an intro. No, I knew we didn't. I was bummed out about it. Oh well. And I just sat here like sad. Oh well. Like a little puppy dog that got left out in the rain. You know what's funny? In the past three minutes of this arguing, we could have had it done six times. We could have. Or we could have just been recording. We are. I could have just been like, <laughs> I, could have just, I mean, I know I saw you click the button, but I could have, like, we could have just could have been arguing. It was like, oh, let's just do cool and be like, oh, okay. Here we could have just go. <laughs> would have been that easy.